And we're live! Hi and welcome to Cut the Craggle. And this is a very, very special event because after my introduction, I'm going to take a back seat here and this live stream is going to be hosted by the power behind the man, the myth, the Craggle throne. It is Mrs. Craggle. Hello there. Hello. <laughs> it's because that... I'm watching Star Wars recently. <laughs> oh, you did that on the video we did looking at all the 2021 sets. I did. Yes, I did. I swear she doesn't say hello there all the time in real life. It's just this new persona she's creating for herself online. No, I do it at work as well. It's, I always oh, okay. There. So it's just me who doesn't get the hello there. <laughs> well, of course you do because it's Star Wars. Oh, no, but oh, I mean, and, uh, you yeah, don't say hello there to me normally, do you? No, because I don't know. Normally, you're like, what are you doing in my bed? Get out. <laughs> Get out. Get me some breakfast, Welsh slave. <laughs> Welsh slave. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, I'm Welsh and the missus is English. Yes, I am. Sleege. I'm not sleege. So, basically, I'm a peasant and she's my overlord. <laughs> you're a peasant. Yeah, I'm the Rebel Alliance and you're the Galactic Empire. No, that could, yeah, that could. What? You're okay with that? How rude. Okay, well, and as such, like the Galactic Empire, she has now taken over my channel. <laughs> and Mrs. Crago is going to be building some Lego Super Mario. Uh, we've got one 2021 set, haven't we? Yeah, the... this one here, which is probably one I want these two little guys. Have yeah, you built those? Yeah, but I haven't put them in the app yet. So, okay. Put these little guys there. But you were expecting a lot more, right? Two more things, I think it was. I thought it was three, but I could be wrong. I think it was two. I think it's. Uh, oh, I'm not going to say anything because so the whole video will probably do when it eventually arrives. But yeah, but yeah. Like, like a lot of our Lego for 2021, it's not here yet. No, well, this one I had to fight tooth and nail for. Mm. Originally, I ordered this from Argos. Argos decided to not tell me, but on the day of delivery, it's like, oh, we have having stock issues. We have to cancel the order. But they cancel this, and my lovely grave digger, but delivered these two. Yeah, and they wanted to charge you the full delivery rate for yeah. two little $3. blind bags. to deliver those two. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, no. They cancel the rest of your order. Yeah. What annoys me, though, is that they sent you to stock issues, and yet on the website, at no point did it go out of stock, and it's still saying in stock now. Yeah, and my sister sent me a photo the same day saying, look what I picked up in Argos. I'm like... Argos is just evil when it comes to stock. Yeah. Like, they have some incredible deals for Lego, but they're hardly in stock anywhere. Nope. It's if you if you're not from the UK, you don't know the pain of Argos. People thought that it would get better when it got bought off by Sainsbury's. I swear it's gotten worse. <laughs> yeah, it's gotten worse. Well, they're trying to close down all the Argos stores now, aren't they? Because they <sighs> put them know. into Sainsbury's. They're closing down the standalone stores. Oh, because Sainsbury's like. So we've got one 2021 set, and what else have we got here? These ones from the first wave, and this is the exclusive San Diego Comic Con set they released last year. Obviously, two. The general public, meaning America only. And our good friend Bricktalot managed to hook me up with this one. So I... He did. He was very nice with that. And yes. I feel really bad because Greg sent me two packages um, of the uh, Comic-Con exclusive sets. One that I bought from him and one that he was very kind to give me for my birthday as a belated present. And I did haul videos on each of those. And I was going to do a haul video for the one that Bricktalot sent for you. And... Yeah, it didn't happen. It didn't happen, did it? Because you opened it and was like, I'm having this already. I thought you haven't built it yet. I haven't yet. built it yet. It's still sealed. So if Bricked a lot, if you're watching a massive apology that we didn't yes. do a special video for you. But it's I've heard from Mrs. Craggle that she is going to dedicate this live stream to you. Yes, I Dedicate am. to your memory, even though you're not dead yet. <laughs> yeah, yes. that's weird. That sounds Wait. like a friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he doesn't mean that really. <laughs> you know you're not dead. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, we'll have to do a good start. Yeah. Yeah, very good start. So we have a look who see who's in the chat. Who's yeah. here for the debut of Mrs. Craggle? Oh, uh, oh wow. So some stuff has been happening whilst we've been gassing. <laughs> gassing is a, a British term for chat, and it does not mean break and win. Although it can mean yeah. Yeah, you can. Anyway, so we have monkey mine, monkey mine, monkey man nine two five five. Hello there. Hello there. Oh dear. <laughs> well, I started. Uh, Gamero Luna says hi. Andy Yu says, hi, folks. Oh, actually, he's got too much to see. He also says, hey, cut the craggle. Welcome, Mrs. Craggle. Oh, thank you, Andy. We've got the Pringles man. 
This is going to be amazing. This is going to be terrible. <laughs> Once you pop, you can't stop. We've got uh, Darkrai Bricks. I started it by Hello there. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, this General Kenobi. Yes. Uh, Thomas Blythe says hi. Oh, my God. we got more General Kenobis here. <laughs> no Legos, no deal, says hi. Mm -hmm. And oh, my word. You've got your first Super chat. We have a donation Aww. from Brother from Another Brick of five American US dollars. For Mrs. Craggle. Oh, thanks, B Fab. So wait, B Fab donates to your <laughs> live streams, not mine. This is an outrage. <laughs> don't think I don't know what you're trying to do here, Mr. B Fab. Uh, <laughs> oh dear. Um, we've got Jojo Wright. Can you do a Stranger Things season four pack? Um, well, no, because there's no such thing. No, you can. Oh, well... you mean do a video based on sets? Maybe I guess I don't know. Yeah, it could be. Uh, well, we need to see season four first. <laughs> well, teaser apparently the room's going to be like. Oh, this. another popular YouTuber's Mrs. Mrs. Brickin is here. Says, "Hey everyone," with Hi. a wavy face, wavy Hi, hand emoji. Uh, Christian Alberg, lol. <laughs> oh. Everyone keep donating for Mrs. Crackle. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, me. Hail the queen of the Crackle Cinematic Universe. <laughs> Oh my word. We got yeah, some quite quite a few people in here. Sorry if I'm missing people out. There's Landa Sweet says hi. Poi. Poi. James Foster says hello from me and Frankie. And then Frankie herself says hi, Mrs. Craggle. Hi, Mr. Craggle. Hello, you two. And uh we also have uh, Owen and Evans saying, Hey, uh, I'll keep quiet. Mutually assured destruction will follow otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay. Well, thank you all for for joining us and joining Mrs. Craggle on her debut live stream. Um, I can see there's a little tiny bit of flicker with the lights, which I'm not sure why. We tested it out earlier and it was fine, but hopefully that won't uh, deter your enjoyment. I think it'll be too dark then. Yeah, that's too dark. I just leave it on. I just leave it on. I'm sure it's only a little bit of a flicker. Oh, what yeah, they're yeah. really here for is to see your lovely painted fingernails. Hello. And uh, to hear your elegant voice as you build some <laughs> Lego Super Mario. Yeah, so I'm gonna works. I'm gonna go a bit quiet now and let Mrs. Craggle do the talking. Although I will be asking questions to her. So if you have any questions that you would like uh, to ask Mrs. Craggle, then let me know and I will ask on your behalf. I have a question for the chat, though. You have a question for the chat. Yes. Which of these shall I build first? Wait, so you're going to let them decide? Yes. That is, da that is dangerous because, <laughs> you know, when I did my live stream of the free San Diego Comic-Con sets, uh, the Black Widow, the Bespin Jewel, and the Wonder Woman set, mm -hmm. I knew which one I wanted to build first, and the chat maybe build that one last. So. Yeah. Well, I haven't got all my collection out yet, so I won't have this until I open this one. Okay. But I can Oh, build wow. We have another donation from the guy with the coolest profile pic in the lego youtube community possibly just the youtube community it's that epic it is space time brick studio with five us american dollars saying greetings everyone oh hello <laughs> what was I that know. hello, hello. <laughs> you sound like one of them Hi, oh. some bouquet from Keeping Up Appearances. Oh, he's bouquet residence. Bouquet residence, lady of the house speaking. <laughs> lady of the craggle speaking. <laughs> Hello, it's pronounced craggle, not crangle. <laughs> oh, what are we geez. doing? Uh, I don't know. And you got another donation. And another it. donation. Oh <laughs> my god. Thank you for all these donations. It's amazing. Oh, and no one from Brother No Brick, and he just says, another donation for Mrs. Craggle. <laughs> wow. I'm surprised because he's not even like putting funny comments on there. It's because he's me, probably. He so he, his... he doesn't bully you because he knows that you will just beat the crap out of him. How does he know that? I... I, I've shown him pictures of your guns while she was sleeping. Oh, I, mean... I was like, check out my Mrs. Muscles. <laughs> Look at her muscles. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Um, so we've got some people saying that we should build, or we you should build rather the top one, the top one, the big box, the maker set. Yeah, so I think it's okay. pretty unanimous that uh, you should build the top one. Okay, that's fine. I'll build this one. I'll have to move these two out of the way. Brick Tony says we all fear Mrs. Craggle, fear and adore. You shall fear me. Oh, well, you're sick, fig. <laughs> there you go. Hey, They're together. I can't. Together. Okay, what a cute couple. Apart from the guy. 
apart from the guy. Oh my god, oh he's bullying you now. Oh, what's he done? We've got another donation <laughs> from Brother of Brick of Five US American Dollars saying Mrs. Craggle is a scary person. I'm not scary. Scary or sexy? I think he means sexy. <laughs> Besides, as any warm-blooded heterosexual male knows, it's the uh, the scary ones that are the hottest. The look she has given me right now is just, um, yeah, it's terrifying. I'm gonna hide in the corner. I'm gonna do this off screen. Okay. I'm gonna stab myself. <laughs> Don't, don't stab yourself and don't stab me, for God's sake. Don't worry, it's a dinner <laughs> knife, it's fine. Rick Tony says, Mrs. Craggle is buff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go, Beef Fab's corrected himself, he meant sexy. Well, oh. Another five American US dollars, oh my God, you can retire on this stream. <laughs> yeah. You've massacred the box. No, I haven't. Okay. It's fine. Uh, so we've got some, I've got, we've got a question already. Um yes. So, Space Time Brick Studio says, did you guys get to see season three of Cobra Kai? Not yet, no. Um, sadly, we're working through the weeks. So we haven't had a chance to watch it yet. But hopefully... Soon, hopefully. Soon. <laughs> Everywhere I go, there's spoilers. I know, I've had a few spoilers. It's crazy, because seasons one and two were out, like, for, what, a year, two years? Yeah, we had before... nothing before. Well, apart from the last scene of season two what yeah. happens to that I had that I had that spoiled yeah apart from that one but otherwise yeah we managed to avoid so many spoilers from the first two seasons but this one spoilers are everywhere because they were on YouTube premium or YouTube red before they were on Netflix yeah um season three I had a spoiler on on the first of January was it did, did they come out on the first of Jan yeah first of yeah one of, my, like, guys. one of my friends um watched it all on New Year's Day like binge watched it I kind of feel like I should have done that but I wanted to spread it out a bit Mm -hmm. And then since then, we've not really had time because Good. our plan was to watch, um, or at least watch most of it this weekend, but we've been doing other stuff. Yep. And now we're doing a live stream. So um, we are sacrificing watching Cobra Kai to do a live stream. Yeah, we are. Yeah. But it'll be fun. Be Looking forward to it, though. Yeah. So, yeah. So please know Cobra Kai spoilers in the chat. Uh, what's this now? You have another question from Andy Yu. What's Mrs. Craggle's favorite cheese? Let's see your question. Um, ooh. hold on a second. Wow, oh. do you want to give that to me? Yeah, okay. And my favorite cheese. Oh, there's I'm hair and bits are everywhere. That's <laughs> <laughs> bits of cardboard and a hair attached to my <laughs> Um, yeah, my favorite cheese. I am quite partial to Red Laster as well. I do love Red Laster. Mm. Um, ooh, extra mature cheddar. Extra mature cheddar? Mm. Or the Pembrokeshire one that I introduced you to? Pembrokeshire cheese is beautiful. So I remember when I first uh, met you in Bradford when we were both in university, I uh, brought up some Pembrokeshire, uh, Pembrokeshire cheese from Wales. Um, and you basically ate all of it, so I had none left. I had to go and find some more. Though randomly, we found was, some in a Lidl's yeah, in, yeah, um, in Keithley, wasn't it? Something like that. It was, it was so bizarre Lidl. why they had Welsh cheese there, and like the restaurant didn't, did they? So, nope. Is that really bag one? Do you want to show us bag one? <laughs> because once you scan this in the app, or use Mario to scan it, it will start building. I'll show you the instructions. Oh, okay. So no, I'm, I'm laughing, but no. now I look like an idiot. No, it's not. I need to connect Mario. Okay, you connect Mario. Take Mario so this is the uh, the interactive Mario figure that you use to play the game with. If people don't know. I mean, I'm not. I'm not going to try and explain <laughs> Lego Super Mario because I don't really know about that much about myself, but you do. There you go. Okay. Just bring the foot a little bit closer to me. Uh, so you're going with Red Leicester or no mature cheddar? Extra mature. Extra cheddar. mature cheddar. Extra okay. Extra mature cheddar. Uh, let's see. Owen Evans says, "How long till Mandalorian Lego?" Well. <laughs> what well, do you mean until I get my Mandalorian Lego? <laughs> so subject. Oh my god. <laughs> That um, set is currently it is with DPD. 
but DPD aren't delivering from Europe at the moment again because people can't do the new customs form properly. So at the moment, we know it's been collected from Lego Warehouse in Belgium. That's about it. And it's staying in Belgium. It's been a. It got dispatched what? Um, just under a week ago, six days ago. Now is it? Yeah, uh, six of Jan. It got dispatched. Okay, four days ago. <laughs> I thought it's. I, it's... <laughs> yeah, because it was ordered on the first of January. Yeah. It's it's crazy. Pieces Other people have had move. their orders, um, and not even the ones that paid for the express delivery. No. But yeah, we've had some Lego come through. If you've seen my recent haul video, um, that was from Smith's Toys and the Entertainer. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Because Amazon would have been on that list. Amazon would have been, but Amazon messed up my order. Argos <laughs> messed up yours, didn't they? Yeah. And the stuff that we got from Lego.com is on vacation, apparently, as yeah, you know, but... as would say. <laughs> the guy who I chatted to on DPD was brilliant, though. He was hilarious. Oh, he kept on using your name at the start of every sentence He's like, like he was telling you off. <laughs> yeah. He was like, I, what was it? He said, I can assure you that when the parcel is in the UK, it will be delivered to you. It was yeah. like, well, I would hope so. I didn't think it was going to go on a tour of Buckingham Palace first. <laughs> it's like, blah, blah, blah. It will take three to four working days on, like, yeah, but normally when we've had orders from Lego, they arrive within two days of being dispatched. Yeah. And that's standard shipping. It's terrible. But yeah, he was... Quite yeah, so we have... I mean, I don't know if Owen knows this, um, but we do already have some Mandalorian Lego because we have, um, obviously, the got... ATSD Raider, yeah. the Razor Crest you got me for Christmas. You've got the Mandalorian Brickhead with the child. Yeah, and also got... Baby Yoda or Grogu. And you've got the UCS Grogu, yeah. Um, and I've done a couple of reviews recently of some custom minifigures based on bo Crease and the Incinerator Trooper from Season 1, yes. um, who are very cool. They're from Firestar Toys. But yeah, the Trouble on Tatooine set... What was that? Oh, my word. It's a Did you just kill Mario? No, no, no. Look. No, I not doing it now. But yeah, it's a pop bomb a bomb. So when they see you, they start running and they start exploding, or they start to basically ignite. Yeah. And then they explode, so you have to run away really quickly. Yeah. Remember, I was playing on them. Um, well, Mario I remember like day. how they work in the game. I was just confused of what you were doing there. Yeah, you have to scan it. Okay. Then it appears in my world. Oh, okay. So you've got the instructions on your phone at the moment. People can't see that, but yeah. Yeah. And do you do you want to quickly show uh, what is holding your phone with the Lego Mario instructions on it? <laughs> yeah. That's gonna trigger so many people. In all fairness, that is mine uh my phone holder because I'm a Sega, you're a Nintendo. Yeah, I know. It will so. never work out like Hello. any celebrity wedding. <laughs> <laughs> uh we have a, a question here from Brick Tony. When will Mrs. Craggle allow Cut the Crackle into a 24 hour stream like BFAP? Um Well Craggle can do it whenever he wants to stream. I know we help out, so if I'm working, I'll probably just like, no, can't help on this. I one. don't want to do a 24 hour stream. <laughs> now, if someone pays you, pays you a grand? Mm, no. <laughs> I'm not as cheap as BFAP. All right. I, it's all right, it's your stream. It's like, you get loads of noise in the background. Yeah, I, I would have to be paid a, a more than what BFAP was. And I think there'd have to be a special reason for it. It wouldn't just be, can I stay up for 24 hours streaming? It would have to be something. I remember I guessed it on Lego the Maniacs 24 hour stream when oh. he was building that, um, the custom the big, massive um, Superstar Destroyer Dreadnought. One. Yeah, that was amazing. I, because I, I went on there, I think in the first couple of hours, and I came back in the last couple of hours, and I was tired because I had to wake up to appear on his stream at like one in the morning. But of course, he'd been streaming continuous. Oh, I know, I, but so I, I, mind you, I did drop in and out of BFAP stream quite a few times as well, and that's just crazy. Yeah. You're crazy people doing 24 hour streams. Uh, let's see. So we got people saying hello there. So brick a lot, hello. not bricked a lot, but so brick a lot. Um, yeah. Lego over TV. I think that's in reference to Cobra Kai. Ah, oh, brick in it's here. It says hi, hey guys, five oh first brick. Hello. It says hi, Craggle, but apparently he's blanking you. <laughs> oh, there's gonna be trouble there. Uh, we have from the Pringles man. What is Mrs. Craggle's fave movie? Oh, tough one. We're going to be here for a 24-hour stream now while she decides. <laughs> um, oh, that is, a, that is a tough one. I have so many different ones. Um, ooh. 
it's gotta be one of the Indiana Jones films, just because I used to watch them as a kid growing up, and it's what got me into my um, course I studied at university. So I studied archaeology. Um, so yeah, I think Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. I know it's your least favorite of the, the Indiana Jones ones. Of the original trilogy, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah we don't count the new ones. It's just the one, new... new one at the moment. <laughs> I mean. Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, I remember when it first came out, I really enjoyed it, and I think it was just because it was a brand new Indiana Jones movie. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty bad movie. There are some elements to it I like. Um, there's some good stuff in there, but overall, yeah. And I'm not really excited for the fifth one. Um, but yeah, mine's probably all the Indiana Jones movies, at least. A Raiders of the Lost Ark or The Last Crusade. I enjoy it. I mean, I love all of them, but Temple of Doom is my least favourite, but yeah. But you have Last Crusade, which has... I thought you were going to say Return of the Jedi. Or... That's my favourite Star Wars film. So Indiana Jones, your favourite Indiana Jones film tops your favourite Star Wars film. Okay. I didn't know this. It'll probably change tomorrow, but... <laughs> yeah, I do change my mind a lot. So. I thought you were going to say either like Return of the Jedi or a Ghostbusters movie. Yeah, it's Ghostbusters. Just know how often you ask me to watch them. Huh? <laughs> yeah. But it is a watchable film. You can constantly watch it throughout well, the Ghostbusters year. 1 is my favourite movie of all time. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> also, Seth Land says, Mrs. Craggle, do you do your own nails? I do. Not very good, but yeah, I do them myself. That was a new um, thing you had for Christmas, wasn't it? Yeah, last year. I, um, I always oh, okay. used the La natural... Yeah, it was last year, but well... Wait, so do last you mean last year's in 2020 or 2019? 2019. Okay. It was a new one. I had 2019, but I don't really use the glitter. I just use the polish, but I decided to use the glitter today. Okay. I wanted a little different. So. Uh, Brick Tony says, do you guys own any pets? Sadly, no. I've been pestering Craggle for the past how many months? <laughs> Recently, you've stepped up your pestering game quite significantly about getting a dog. I know. I do want a dog, but yeah, it wouldn't be fair if we get a dog at the moment just because, obviously, working. We had we had pets when, obviously, when we lived with our families, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we did. And sadly, in 2019, we lost both our family dogs, didn't we? 2020. For... Or oh, 2020, yeah. My yeah. Other, yeah. Year, See, no, year before my family's. Oh, 2019 was, was your family's dog, mm -hmm. and 2020 was not my family's dog. Yeah, it was my late granddad's dog. My sister obviously took over when he passed away, and sadly, I think it was like three or four years to the date, mm. or just before, like it was yeah, the anniversary. anniversary. Yeah. So, yeah, I'd love to get a dog. We I both love, love animals, don't we? Yeah. I mean, saying that, until they moved away recently, we were pretty much the owners of Next Door's cats. <laughs> yeah. We All never fed kids. them. You know, because they say if you feed a cat, that that's it. We purposely never fed them, but we looked after them. Like, I remember when we had that heat wave. Oh, those poor like, little things. The, the Next Door neighbours went away for, like, felt like at least, a, I would say, a week to ten days. Yeah. They and they left the cats here, and they put food out, but, you know, in a heat wave, the water evaporated or got tipped over, so we were putting mm. out water for them, weren't yeah, we? Yeah, they had, like, a little cat house at the back, but I'll see. Yeah. Too warm. But yeah, we gave them a bit of water when I see things because obviously they had someone coming around now and again, but it's still a long gap throughout the day. Where... They didn't come around every day either. Yeah. That just rests in there. Is it? That's going to be like a leaf or something, is it? Yeah, probably pop some under there and flip some up. Um, apparently, a brick and it says my stuff is still in warehouse. Wow. Yours will probably still arrive before and ours. Didn't they, I think Brick and it paid for the express delivery. Not on that one. No, oh, not on that said one. The, the police station, they paid express, and the other one was regular delivery, I think they said. Uh, yeah, it's not Belobo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think mean, that's yeah. a reference to the Craggles House Party set. <laughs> uh, uh, 501st Brick. I didn't realise 501st Brick is Scottish, or at oh. least lives in Scotland. Says, I didn't order anything as when lockdown was announced in here in Scotland, a few things went out of stock, but when Boris announced everything went out pretty much. Yeah, there's been like no uh, Lego clearance over the holiday season like there mm. normally is because there's just a Lego shortage. Yeah, and we can't even buy Lego, say, like in Asda because they've now blocked off the aisle. So, because it's non essential, we mm. can't buy Lego. Yeah. So, like, I'm pretty sure they have new sets, but we can't go down there. Brittany says, my stuff got lost in the dark back alley. Oh, no. <laughs> oh God. Uh, let's see. We actually have another donation 
from Frankie Williams, who has donated £4.99, great British pounds sterling, and says, you go, girl. Are they going to release a Baby Park-style expansion? Love Mrs. Craggle's original wife. <laughs> I know who exactly you are. Um, I would love a Baby Park. If anyone's played Mario Kart, Baby Park is the easiest level going on Mario Kart. You just go around in a loop, constantly, like, I think, eight laps. But it's so fun. Like me and Frankie here used to always love as we were growing up, obviously going for our gaming nights, playing on the GameCube. I had to show my age a bit as well there. Um, <laughs> yeah, we you old. say that like you're old or something, but I'm older than you. <laughs> I'm joining the old club this month, so. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, um, we used to play Mario Kart a lot, and Baby Park was one of our fun. <laughs> As Frankie would know, Fat Jaffa is a hilarious thing we kind of coined when playing Mario. Fat Jaffa? Fat Jaffa. What does that mean? It is. Oops, shoot. Um, Did you Bowser. Oh. I, Did you break it? I found the lever. It's there. Oh, okay. I, kind of moved it. I love the colours in these sets. I know. Look. They're so colourful. Mm -hmm. And the printed pieces. Do you want to show those off? Yep. Yeah, new mysterious boxes. You can bring it up a bit closer, I think. It might. Uh... There. We're actually using a uh, a brand new webcam that I got for Christmas off Mrs. Craggle uh, for this stream because normally I stream from my phone. <laughs> but uh, no, we're using the brand new webcam, which mm -hmm. gives us a bird's eye view of yeah. the build. So let us know what you think about that. Sadly, StreamYard because I'm too cheap to pay for the uh, the premium version caps it at seven twenty. But uh, I think that's. I think it looks okay. Apart yeah. from, I don't know why this flicker. It's probably the lights. I think I need to change the bulbs on these lights. We've had them for a few years now, haven't we? 2016, I think Something it was. Like that. Yeah. But yeah, I'd love a Baby Mario Park. Baby Park. I would love some Lego Mario Kart sets. Like the. I think I've, we've mentioned this before, me and, and Greg from Brickatech, like the uh, Mighty Micros. Yeah, they And be that awesome. style. And then you can have a bigger set with a track, but like, you know, you get two uh, Mario Karts with two car you know, mini figs in them. Uh, yes, the Pringles them. man says that Sonic holder was a masterpiece. Yeah, I love that. That was a gift off you, wasn't it? Yes, a few years back, I think. Huh? You hinted at it for ages, <laughs> and then I just got at you. Uh, I'm really sorry. I'm going to crucify this name. Uh, Matas Traposki, I think that's how you say it, says the worst thing about Mario is that he interacts with random things like blankets, tables, etc. Yeah, because I remember when I was wearing one of my new T-shirts that was red, you kept putting Mario on him and he kept killing him, didn't you? Are you killing Mario? Yeah, in terms of the fact that if you... What are you doing? You're killing... There are children watching. You're killing a beloved Italian plumber. I'm sorry, Mario. Go to sleep. Wow. At least that's not enough. <laughs> A Brickner says favorite movie is obviously the Super Mario Bros. one. Oh. I I have nostalgia for that movie. Yeah, it's, a lot it's terrible, time. but I have a lot of nostalgia for it. Kids nowadays don't like it. Yes, you are tired, Mario. Go to sleep. <laughs> oh dear. Um, okay, I'm sorry if I'm a little bit behind on the chat. Let's have a look. Uh, let's see. I'm gone. <laughs> He's snoring away here. That is really loud. That's almost as bad as your snoring. Hey, I don't snore. Uh, Monkey Man nine two five five says, "Have either of you played any of the Lego games?" Yeah, we have. I haven't played Ninjago, but practically all the other ones we have. So, like the recent one I got you was City Undercover because you hadn't had that um Xbox. Oh, they did the re-release of it. Yeah. yeah. The first game I actually played was you threw me onto Lego Star Wars, weren't you? Was it Lego Star Wars three back in the day? No, it was Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga, but you went straight for trying to get the achievement, which was to do the game without dying, yeah. and you got really frustrated with that and said that you hated Lego video games at that point because that was your own experience. Yeah. And at that point, I had already bought you Lego Pirates of the Caribbean, the video game, so I was really <laughs> thinking, oh, no, but you've loved How that game. How many times have I completed that you, game? And when, you, and when we say completed, you've 100 percented that game at least six times now. I got on the Xbox One as well because it had the free download thing. Yeah. Think, was it free or was it free? Yeah, it was, it was free. Yeah. It's like I've completed Games of Gold, times. I think it was. So yeah, I mean you also got me the Lego Harry Potter years um 
or parts one and two when they did yeah. you know years one to four and then five to seven yeah i was thinking we need, probably need to get the new remake one because we haven't got it on xbox one have we no but i'm trying to think what my 360 copy is or copies um i really enjoyed those games they were fun you did like the dc villains one i got you dc super villains was awesome yeah i, I wasn't a massive fan of lego batman 3 i love lego batman 2 um lego marvel superheroes was fantastic the second one not so much though i still i do enjoyed it but it wasn't as good as the first one so yeah we've played quite a few of the lego video games yeah. like Lord of the rings was I, I should probably do a new video i did top five lego video games but i was like yeah. back what four years ago when i was first starting out and i still get comments on that saying what about this one and it's a game that has come out after the video was made yeah you should do one just because like you can kind of make well, sure maybe you should it. do it do yeah. the C Mrs. Craggle version. <laughs> a Lego Hobbit we right down at the bottom because I was. Oh my so... word! Five Hole First Brick says I haven't seen Indiana Jones. Should I watch them? Yes. Yes. The, yes. Yeah. The original, like I said, well, you like I said four. So Christmas Skull is actually okay. I didn't mind it either. Um, apart from Shia LaBeouf, I wasn't so keen on him. Shia LaBeouf. Mm, mm. Yeah. Oh, uh, the Pringles man again with a question says. What is Mrs. Crackle's favourite song? Oh, favourite song. That's a difficult one. But there's particularly one at the moment. It's from Back to the Future. It's when they play at the Enchantment Under the Sea dance. What, Earth Angel? Yes, Earth Angel by the Penguins. That's your favourite song at the moment? Yeah. It's I not one you've been listening to a lot. You've been listening more to um, Tears for Fears at the moment. Yeah, I do. I love anything 80s, so. Yeah. But... Yeah, okay. so I've been listening to that at the moment. Well, it's on my Spotify list when I can actually listen to music whilst I'm working, but lately not been able to. Um, but yeah, definitely Earth Angel. Come on, everyone. Uh, Matos Traposki, I've probably seen that right again, says, Krakow has Legos and a wife. He's a Chad. He's a Chad? I don't even know what Chad means. <laughs> I'm so knocked down with the kids. I don't know. The only one Chad I know is from an anime called Bleach. And Chad is basically a tall guy who doesn't really talk that much. But that's the only Chad I know of. I mean, I'm not short. <laughs> no, you're not short. But I doesn't talk much. I think I'm, I'm out on that one. I talk too much. You do talk a lot. <laughs> uh, so Seth Bland says, looks great just asking a random question. Fire I think away. It, I think he refers to the, the webcam as looking good. Um. Mahan apparently is having issues where they refunded his order, but they're still sending it out. And then once they send it out, then they take money back again. I don't know. Well, well, hmm. they're yeah. actually pretty good customer service. Remember, I had to film them for the Razor Crest because originally the Razor Crest was supposed to be a Valentine's present for you because the back order date was in January and then it got moved to February. But then you had an email from Lego saying it's trying to be taken out, but my card had been changed by that time. I forgot. So I had to phone them up, pay for it, and it's like, oh yeah, it'll be with you this week, so before Christmas. Yeah, Lego do have great customer yeah. service, in all fairness. But, in the but it is a bit shambolic at the moment with what's happening. Yeah. Um, we have Brickett or Brick IT says, Hi family crackle. How are you? Greetings from Brickett in Belgium. Ooh, we have a Belgian. I just want to say, where is my Lego? <laughs> do you reckon Brickett or Brick? I, I think it's Brick IT. Maybe it's Brick It. It does say I Brick know. IT because he's capitalised the IT. Yeah. Brick Information Technology. Um, yeah, because <laughs> uh, yeah, my Lego apparently is still in Belgium and has been for like the last 10 days. Yeah, but let's see. <laughs> so because he is from Belgium, therefore, by the logic invested in me, he must have my Lego. <laughs> Maybe we should greetings. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Thank you. We're pretty good. Well, you, um, are you good? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. How are you? Uh, 501 First Brick, they've got Ace Venture and Deliver in it. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, as long see. as not freaking yodel. Can Craggle or Mrs. Craggle say hamburger? Hamburger. Hamburger. And they mocking our accent. I don't know. Hamburger. I'll say different to Craggle because I say I did get in trouble because I was mocking the Americans for having a hamburger when it's actually made out of beef. And then I found out, I mean, they couldn't defend themselves, but I later found out. That it's actually hamburger because it comes from Hamburg. Um, we shorted it to, to burger and then we put beef in front of it. So beef burger because we also have like chicken burgers and turkey burgers. 
in America, they kept this hamburger, even though it's not ham, but because it comes from hamburger. But they don't know it comes from Hamburg. So they don't even know themselves what they're saying. I, I shut up. <laughs> no, I just realized I haven't done the second one of these. Uh, Brickinit says, right, got to pop off. Have a great stream, guys. Thanks for See joining us, Brickinit. See you later. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be crucifying the name. Oh, I'm going to say it wrong. But uh, Mater Straposky says, Mrs. Craggle equals Parker from Hindsight confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't have her hair. The purple hair. No, you have. Ha when I first met you, not long afterwards, you did have purple highlights in the hair. I do tend to. Well, back when I was younger, I did change my hair a lot. You I change your hair a lot now, but not. I'll give you a hair reveal. A hair. <laughs> it kind of is like it's. It's got. A, it's a reddish brown at the moment. The camera won't pick it up very well. No, but yeah. I think on the camera it looks just brown. It's not getting the red. Yeah. Um. But yeah. My hair's too long. Brick Tony says the webcam looking crispy. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not very good at technology, so I have to ask my colleagues to help me with this one. The so. Pringles man says webcam is awesome. Wee. So, how much have you built so far? Two I'm bags. I'm going on to bag three now because I forgot this to build this. Okay, bag. we're 36 minutes into this. I'm <laughs> and you sorry. Built, you built two bags. I'm not quite. The only thing I'm fast at building, apart from that technic green thing we got. Yeah, Brick Tony says the flicker is not that bad. Okay. It looks worse on StreamYard, but when I check the uh, the feed on YouTube, but it's it's only there in little parts of the screener. So, I hope that's okay. I love these printed tiles. Uh, we have uh, Anna Tanasa says, Hello there, Mrs. Craggle. How is your day? My day has been really good. It's been my day off. Back to work tomorrow, but it's been fun. How are yours? Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, five oh first brick is educated Mahan on Ace Ventura. Mahan doesn't know what Ace Ventura is. Wow. Ooh. Okay, and we have another donation. We have one great British pound sterling from Harry Crow Vlogs. Uh, I can't see a message on there. It might be a emoticon. Uh, oh no, there's no uh, message. No, it's because like certain amount it doesn't show. YouTube like you doesn't show. Yeah. YouTube but uh, thank you very much thank for the donation, you. Harry Crow Vlogs. Uh, we very much appreciate it. I'm, I'm saying we. Do you appreciate it? Yes, and it's a thank you. Okay. <laughs> Very much appreciate it. Brick Tony says, uh, Mario Dyer, not made for kids. <laughs> I know. He, he's 18 dead plus stream now. <laughs> he did. I mean, I always get told I'm not made for kids, so. <laughs> uh, the Pringles Man says, the Super, Mario's Bro Super Mario Bros. movie is one of the greatest movies <laughs> ever made. Wow. I think I've told this story before on live streams or podcasts or anything, but for me, it just has a massive amount of nostalgia because it was one of the movies that I went and saw with my dad um, in the cinema before it came out when my uh, my great uncle used to work at the old Odeon um, in Cardiff. So I, I do have a DVD copy of it, but I think it's back at my, my, my parental's house. Yeah, I think it might be. I don't uh, remember seeing it in the collection. Yeah. Uh, spoilers, maybe I don't know for season three. <laughs> rest in peace, Mario. Uh, oh, rest in peace, Mario. I read oh. that as Mando. <laughs> I was like, What? No, don't kill Mando off. Oh, okay. dear. <laughs> uh, let's see. There, we got some more people saying hello there. Hello. Uh, and the Pringles man says, Best hair ever. Craggle should be proud <laughs> with a winky face. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Br uh, Brother Noah Brick says, Crago is sad. He hasn't seen donations this good until Mrs. Crago started streaming. Lol. <laughs> wow. Thank you, BFAB. You're a true friend. He loves you, really. He doesn't love me. <laughs> he didn't reply to the nude site. I mean, <laughs> I'm not supposed to turn that. I know. Uh, Mark B says, Hi, guys. Did you watch Truth Seekers? If you did, what did you think of it? Truth Seekers, is that on a, ne uh, on a, on a Netflix? <laughs> on a Netflix. Is it on, on a Netflix? Netflix. You sound like B-Fab when he said he watched The Phantom of the Menace. Oh, God. Um, I think that is the show with Nick Frost and Simon Pegg that's on Amazon Prime. Oh, that one. No, we don't have Prime at the moment. We only have it. We get a free trial and then we cancel it. Yeah, we kind of smashed out the whole of the boy season two when we, we had the last retirement. We had a free week trial, didn't we? One week from Amazon Prime and we used it to watch the boy season two. But the boy season two was good, so. Um, yeah, I've heard mixed stuff about that. Um, I mean, I haven't. The, the the telltale thing is there's not been much that I've heard about the series, considering it's Simon Pegg and Nick Frost. 
Uh, but what I have heard has been a mixed bag. But I will probably get round to it eventually. Yeah, we will eventually. Um, I so met. Many different we, well, we both met Sam and Peg last year, didn't we? At Comic Con. Was it like, no year before? Year before, yeah. yeah. See, I'm still thinking. <laughs> I'm still thinking this 2020, but yeah, in 2019. And normally, when I go to conventions and I meet people, um, you, when you go there, they have like uh, glossy photos that you can get signed, or you can take your own stuff. People generally only take their own stuff if they want something like a prop or a pop figure or something signed. I take my own photos because sometimes I feel like the photos you get there are crap or I want a specific image signed. And um, with Simon Pegg, for some reason, I was like, no, they're bound to have loads there. He was like the headline guest. And when we went there, the images were terrible. All they had was pictures of him from Star Trek Into Darkness um and mission impossible there was nothing from Shaun of the dead nothing from hot fuzz the world's end nothing like that was there no there was because i wanted one of him from Shaun of the dead ideally didn't i <laughs> or spaced <laughs> i i guess they probably wouldn't have a space because that's quite a cult tv show and it's quite old now but yeah, yeah. so yeah. i've got a picture of him from star trek into darkness it's the darkest picture you could hope to see of Simon Pegg, and he signed it in black ink as well. I was going to say he signed it in black <laughs> it's, ink. It's like terrible. It's but... not gone on our autograph wall at the moment anyway. It's no. with the other collection. Oh, we've already highlighted that one. Uh... Yeah, come in. <laughs> uh, Mater Strip Plosky is a coin brother from her brick out for simping on you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my word. Oh. Beef Haber says, I love Crago in a way that is rated R. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Trigger Mahan. <laughs> uh, okay, so Anna Tanasa says, I'm sorry if I pronounce or oh, mispronounce anyone's names. I'm doing my best. Uh, says, the question of this live, Mario or Luigi? Luigi. I love Luigi. There's a game called Mar uh, Luigi's Mansion. I used to love it on GameCube. And it's basically Luigi going around this haunted mansion with the Poltergeist 3000, which is basically a hoover or a vacuum cleaner on his back, sucking up ghosts. It is fantastic. And you got me Luigi's Mansion 3 last year for my birthday, I want to say. Yeah. I think it was. And yeah, it got me that on Switch and it's, it's brilliant. But yeah, Luigi is always better. Whenever I played Mario Kart, if I don't use my usual character of Link from Zelda, I will always use Luigi or Yoshi. Wow, and Mario, how do you feel about being overlooked now? And your, you know, your skinnier brother has stolen the affections of Mrs. Craggle. Mario is dead still. You killed Mario. Yeah. Mario's dead. It's Saving the dead the eyes. Uh, do we watch Rick and Morty now? <laughs> no, we don't. No. <laughs> uh, how many likes do we need to get for Mrs. Craggle to take over this channel? Says Brickatex. Wow. <laughs> um wow i will do a terrible job on that channel so no. <laughs> i love how like people you know i i put you on one video one live stream and straight away people are saying like oh so is mrs crackle taking over and they're excited for it <laughs> wow uh mm. mint gamer says hello hello and then please reply like 20 billion times they've been timed out. Uh, oh, yeah, Mark B says Space is legendary. He is Space. I watched him on, was he on BFAB? No, one second, I'm thinking of Space Man. Um, yeah, Space is. Finally, what are you watch... talking about? <laughs> I don't know about the TV show because I mentioned about I Space from you know, Simon Pegg. Yeah, I was thinking of Space Time, Matt, but Space Time. Oh, Space but, Time yeah, Brick Studio. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, cool. Uh, Oh my god. This is this is getting interesting. Matas Traposki says, guys, we need to cancel Cut the Craggle on Twitter because he doesn't cut Craggle. Mm. Who says I don't? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like how this uh, this Matas Traposki started off being quite friendly and happy towards us, and then all of a sudden now he's just turned on me and wants to cancel me. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh Someone apparently has made a Lego Luigi. Nice. I don't think we're going to get a Luigi character, though, to go with this 
theme. I feel like if we get Luigi, it's going to be either a brickhead or when they finally do Nintendo minifigures. Yeah. I don't think the demand is there to do a, you know, because how expensive the like the starter kit is and to have the Mario figure, I don't think there's enough demand to have a Luigi version of that. No, I mean, it'd be awesome just because. I mean, maybe they would do a billable one like how they did uh, Yellow Yoshi, which you're going to tell me is someone else, or even Yoshi. I don't know. It's not Yellow Yoshi, it's on the box. What's his name? I always forget his name. Wait, so I'm in the wrong for calling him Yellow, Yellow Yoshi, but. Okay. Yoshi. Thing. He's a Koopa Paratrooper. The Koopa Paratrooper, yeah. Try to say that right about. Uh, Frickatech says, when people on YouTube like your family more than you, hello, darkness, my old friend. (laughs) 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 And Space Time Brick Studio quite rightly says, I am also legendary. Yes, he is. It's that profile pic. I love it. I know. Oops, I just broke him. Um... And also, they're talking about how many likes it's going to take for you to take over the channel. Apparently, we're at 36 likes now. Wow. Wow. 45, actually. Look at this. You don't want me taking over the channel. I'll destroy it. <laughs> you destroy it. You were supposed to bring balance to the channel, not destroy it, not even <laughs> darkness. I'm misquoting it now. Uh, yeah, no one will recommend it. Apparently, Birth Nut Brick says, Oh, Mrs. Cracker watches my streams, lol. You when, know I was. I was where did you get that from? When, when did we mention this live stream? When I said the space time was in. Oh, Peacock okay. Stream, oh, see, so you're talking about space time and BFAB makes it about himself. They're not just like BFAB. <laughs> uh, and it's NASA says, cough, Mrs. Crag or YouTube channel, cough. I do actually have a YouTube channel because I realize I probably need to support Crag a bit more. So I do have. YouTube channel, but there's no videos. There's no content. It's it's morally for you to. I know, but I do have in the chat, randomly seven followers or well, seven subscribers. I'm like, there's nothing on there. Do you think you'll ever do content on there? I don't know. I'm not that good. I don't think so. Probably not. I don't know. I can see you doing some content, even if it's not Lego related. You could do all kinds of other stuff. Yeah, and anyway, my Instagram. hair reveals. <laughs> Just go around to like popular YouTubers' houses and get them to show like. Uh, the hair on camera. Hair reveals. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Time that. for a hairy experience with Mrs. Craggle. <laughs> hair today, gone tomorrow. That is terrible. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm not putting that comment up, BFAB. <laughs> even, that's too much even for me. <laughs> wow. BFAB. Um, someone is now calling for guys to spam Kruggle is over party. I, what? Kruggle is over I think means Kruggle is over party. Yeah. Josh Locke says, hi, cut the Kruggle. Hello there. Hello, as well. I didn't say to hello to you. Hiya. Yeah. It's fine. Uh, Brickatech says, Mrs. Cracker watched the BFAB stream and survived it. Impressive. Most impressive. <laughs> yeah, get it oh, and one of those uh, seven subscribers is 501st Bricks. Oh, thank yeah. you. And uh, Frankie Williams says, quite rightly, stop putting yourself down, Mrs. Cracker, with a fist bump. <laughs> thank you, Frankie. Oops. That one's lying. Sorry. Uh, Mahan says, I think he had a bit of cough medicine. Um, is he referring to BFAB? Probably, I think to BFAB. <laughs> 50 likes to get Mrs. Craggle to make some content. Oh, God. Uh, oh someone's now disliked the stream. Meh. Wow. I always have every single bit of content I put out, I always have at least one dislike. And normally the dislike happens within like the first 10 seconds of me uploading so i'm pretty sure that someone's got a hate subscription on my channel and they've got notifications on so as soon as i post anything they can dislike it because they hate me yeah i've got a couple of ideas who i think it is as well i think you told me about these ones look at this color it is the pale yellow but in this brick i like that color i really like this color so they used it in bell and the brickhead yeah which i yeah (laughs) I, I Belle is your favorite brick. Belle is your favorite Disney princess. Your ring engagement ring that I got you is is uh, the Belle, Beauty Disney. and the Beast uh, engagement ring, and you let me dismantle your brickhead from one of my mocks. I did. Isn't that the sign of true love? She let me dismantle the brickhead of her favorite Disney princess so I could build a mock. Yes. What was the mock? That's definitely a keeper. I can't remember what mock it was now. I can't remember. <laughs> was was it the eye zombie one? It might have been actually because we had to get finished to take it to uh, Comic Con to show the um the guest audience. Yes, Rahul, um, Rahul, Rose, Rose MacGyver, and did we show it to Ali? Yeah, we should get because remember Rahul called her over. 
Ah, yes. <laughs> they're, they're the actors uh, from the main cast of iZombie. Uh, if you haven't seen, I did an iZombie uh, mock of the morgue from that show. And uh, I took it to Comic-Con to show um, some of the guests and also give them any figures based on themselves. What am I missing? Uh, there you go. Josh Block has rectified his mistake and said, Hi, Mrs. Craggle. Hello. Apparently, Pringles Man is also a Mrs. Craggle sub. Oh. Uh, Booker, uh, Isaac Booker even says, Hi, Craggle, and hi, Mrs. Craggle. Hello. I did this wrong. Uh, Miha, uh, Miha, I can't speak. <laughs> Miha. I am pronouncing everything wrong. You should not be doing Mihan. Uh, Mihan. <laughs> Mihani. Oh, Mihani. Do, 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 do. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, yes, I'm talking about BFAB. Oh, okay. Dear. <laughs> Okay, Frankie Williams has a question. Fave Nintendo game, go. Oh, Nintendo game. Now, this is difficult because I've always loved... See, Legend of Zelda is probably one of my favourite games. Ocarina of Time used to be my favourite, but then they came out with Twilight Princess on the Wii. Mm -hmm. God knows how many years ago. I can't remember how old it is now. But then they brought out the lovely Breath of the Wild on the Switch two years ago. And even though I haven't completed the game because I am good at procrastinating and like going off and doing other things than playing the main game. Side I, quests. Side quests, yeah. I just procrastinate just do side quests rather than the main game. And it is easy, one of my favourite games. I need to complete it though before the second one comes out. But I think that's, yeah, that's going to be my favourite game. It's not procrastinating if you're doing side quests. I think that's a perfectly. Legitimate, uh, use yeah, of time. but if you look at how many hours I've put into the game, like, yeah, we need to get on and do the game now. I think procrastinate is what I used to do on Red Dead Redemption 2 when I used to pick a random NPC and start following them around until they <laughs> got suspicious and then I chase them, like, hogtie them and then, like, either like drag them behind my horse or like kill them and then, like, oh, like, one about before that I tried, um, was it the big fat guy? Oh. Who's in love with his sister? I hogtie. I tried. No, you couldn't hogtie him, but I tried getting him to follow me to the camp, so my yeah. people would kill him and stuff. <laughs> I just remember you kept trying to take that guy over to the pigs to get eaten, the body. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's not talk Red Dead Redemption. It's not exactly. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, what's your favorite game? My favorite or favorite Nintendo game? Mm. Probably you Pokemon. I was gonna say you don't play much Pokemon Yellow because that was such a big game when, when i was like uh, a kid we actually found your copy didn't we yeah annoyingly no game save on this it's been wiped i know because i had mew because i actually went when i used to do that did the tour of the uk and you went there with your game cartridge red blue or yellow and you put it in the machine and it gave you mew yeah and i was the only one of my friends who went there so I kind of went up like once with a baseball cap, once with some sunglasses on, once with my hood up, once with it down, and got Mew basically for all my friends. Even though you could do the whole cloning thing when you pulled out the uh, the transfer cable. Uh, but yeah. Oh, back uh, Owen Evans says, either of you want to write my dissertation? No. Uh, no, I have my fun share of writing dissertation years back. <laughs> it's not the fun thing. No. I, I've done two... At least two final dissertations. Uh, I have no uh, interest in doing another one. Do you? No. No. One's enough. Uh, apparently, Matus Toposki is also a. Well, I says Mr. Krabs sub. I don't know who Mr. Krabs is. <laughs> Mr. Krabs is the new local YouTuber. I do not know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Brickatech says, "Imagine being that one person that disliked such a miserable soul." Yeah, whenever I dislike you, sir. Yeah. Well, apparently Mahan says, I'm sorry, that's me. It's just that you keep telling me to shut up and it's making me sad. <laughs> I've told you, shut up Mahan is the new shut up BFAB. <laughs> uh, the person who dislike will be hunted down. We will launch an investigation. Your audience is rallying behind you here. <laughs> uh, me to the person who disliked the video, he will be hunted down and defeated. Oh. Rick Tats also get behind her. Mihan! <laughs> Uh, James Foster says, have you played Spider-Man Miles Morales? We don't have uh, PlayStation 4, is it on 5? I can't remember. But yeah, we don't have PlayStation. We're more of a Nintendo and Microsoft and less household. So I probably do want to play on that one when we do eventually get a PlayStation, just because I need to play Uncharted 4. I don't want to play Uncharted 4. <laughs> it ended perfectly with Uncharted 3. 
what I've heard is Uncharted 4 is a great for gameplay, but like the storyline, it adds nothing to the original trilogy. So he's flying. <laughs> you have to stick up his leg. See? <laughs> What's going on like, now? Up his leg. Okay. Well, yeah, you do. Um, wow. Can't say if it's backside. And Miss Bricks of Fun says, Hi, Mrs. Craggle. Hello. And um, Brickatech says he will forever be known as Mihan <laughs> on my streams going forward. <laughs> what have you started? Uh, <laughs> John's Bricks unbanned Mahan 2021. Is he <laughs> is he banned? Oh yeah, we have a Rouge Runner in the chat. Hello. <laughs> Mario agrees, by the way. <laughs> uh Anna Tanasa says Reboot or Cooper. I have no idea what that means. Reboot. Um he's a ghost. Oh, okay. So, yeah, Reboot or Cooper? Ooh, Reboot. Reboot? Uh, the Pringles Man says, Mrs. Craggle, least fave game. Lego Hobbit. Just because I can't complete the darn thing. Well, you can, but the game itself is not complete. Yeah. <laughs> you can complete what's there. You can only play through games, or well, movies one and two, and then that's it. You cannot play the final game or the final film because they didn't release it. They kept saying they're going to release it as DLC. Never did, and you can't compete. It's anything. because Lego Hobbit thinks so terribly, the sets and yeah. the movie. Well, if you think about it, it came after Lego Lord of the Rings, and Lego, Lego Lord of the Rings was really good. It's like, it's a brilliant game. But yeah. It's a fantastic Hobbit. game, Lego Lord of the Rings. It's one of my favorite because it's not just a great Lego game, it's a really good Lord of the Rings game. Yeah. Um, you know, and I my favorite Lord of the Rings games are the Two Towers and Return of the King oh, that came on the PlayStation, PlayStation 2, 2, the Hack and Slash ones. I love Two Towers. Um, but yeah, The Hobbit, everything about The Hobbit was kind of disappointing. Like, I don't mind the first film. I, I like the fact that it's it's kind of more childish and you know, more aimed at kids because The Hobbit, the book, was a children's book that was so popular with adults that he then Tolkien went and wrote The Lord of the Rings. So that makes sense. But then, like, the film is still three hours long, which is too long for the audience that is aimed at. Yeah, it's like the book is like this thick. It's not the massive book. Like, compared to Lord of the Rings, which is about probably this thick. Yeah. The Hobbit is tiny. By the time he gets to the second film, it's like... They stretched it out so much. Three quarters way through the book, maybe two thirds of the way book. It was so far into the book. It's, it's like, over the halfway mark in the yeah. first film. And it's like, how can you finish the film off now? Yeah. Like, you've killed Smarg in the second film. That's it. Isn't well, it no, just... he doesn't get killed. That's, that was another thing. It felt like a TV movie because... They have the battle with Smaug, and they say the classic line of, what have we done? And then he gets killed in the first five minutes of the mm. third movie. The third movie felt like one long video game. It's just because he wanted to get a massive battle in it, so it's a battle of the five armies. It's not even like a chapter in the book. That's as far as it will I go. I don't mind making that a big battle, but you don't have to make, a, make an entire film. I know, you didn't need to bring Legolas. I love Legolas, but you didn't need to bring him in either. No. And create his stupid love story. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they do the whole thing again. We're getting like stabbed by a mithril blade. It almost turns him into a wraith, but it makes no sense because it's not a wraith that it's like an arrow oh, from Morgul. a normal Morgul blade. Orc. Yeah, or Morgul, mm -hmm. yeah, not mithril. Mithril is the best. Yeah, Morgul blade. He gets stabbed. Well, yeah. Frodo does anyway. But yeah, by the way, look at this new piece. Ooh. So normally they have these, you know, these little pieces. So that's a new piece. Yeah, so it's basically one of those. Wait, that's pieces. not like three pieces together. That's actually a piece. Oh, wow. I thought that was three pieces put together. No, yeah, so they're actually bringing in new stuff as well. That's cool. I don't know if it's been using any other way one sets, just because I've got a few missing. Apparently, John's Bricks says fake rogue. He would never come to Crackle Stream. I think <laughs> this is a, uh, a fake John's Bricks. Can we get him banned, please? <laughs> uh, and then Frank Weaver says, Mr. Crackle, respect for the Pokemon yellow choice. Oh, my favorite was always Pokemon Red. Well, the thing is, when Pokemon came out, in the UK at least, they only brought out red and blue because the original, I think, was red and green. Red and green in, in Japan. Japan. Um, and then they did blue, which I guess makes more sense in terms of that dynamic. But when they came out, it was at a time when I didn't have my birthday or Christmas or anything. And I was too young, really, to sort of save up enough money. So I had to wait for my birthday to get a Pokemon game, and by that point they brought out Pokemon Yellow, which was basically like Pokemon the director's cut, and it had you know more references to the anime. And the best thing about it was, even though you start with Pikachu as a star Pokemon, who is a terrible starter Pokemon, 
when you're going up against your first gym leader, which is Brock, who's, you know, Rock, so Rock, yeah. Um, no matter what the anime tries to make out, was, you know, you can't electrify the sprinkler system in the game. <laughs> but you did get all three of the star Pokemon because most of my friends had just, like, you know, raced for the game and evolved their Pokemon. So whilst they could do the trade-in, they couldn't get, like, any of, uh, of the first evolutions of the star Pokemon in their Pokedex because they'd already evolved it by the time they started training with their friends, you know? But I got Bulbasaur, Squirtle, and Charmander all in the course of the game. Well, I just loved Red, so I always get Charmander. And I power him up like a beast, so he's my favourite. Uh, Charlotte Scott says, OMG, I love you so much. Oh, thank you. I don't know. And then <laughs> next, can you do a face reveal? <laughs> um, I mean, does she mean me or you? I don't know, I just dropped a piece I mean That's a face so It's now revealed Happy? There you go, my face reveal <laughs> That's not your face No, it's not <laughs> It's a very fun stress ball my sister got me for Christmas uh, Apparently there are now two dislikes Wow <gasps> This is getting out of hand, there are two of them <laughs> uh, Apparently that's Meehan's alternate account <laughs> <laughs> Me, Han. Uh, oh Frankie God. Williams says, uh, Lord of the Rings or Harry Potter? Oh, tough one. I think I'd say Lord of the Rings because I love the lore behind Lord of the Rings. Yeah. I love Harry Potter. Like, we normally, or we haven't done it this year, well, past couple of years, have we? But normally we watch Harry Potter from the beginning. Oh, yeah, around Christmas time, generally. <laughs> yeah. Over the past couple of years. Just we barely have time to watch rooms. <laughs> Christmas came and went so quickly. Like I thought I was on the ball when I put some Christmas movies on, like in the first week of December. I was like, Yeah, I'm starting getting the Christmas hype early. And before I knew it, it was like gone New Year's Day. Like we went out yesterday and it was like really brisk. There was like the frost in the air and it just felt so Christmassy. Mm. But it was nine days. <laughs> I don't know, nine days into the new year, oh, so even longer. It was like at least we guess we didn't have snow in like some parts of the country. Mm. I'd probably say Lord of the Rings. Harry Potter's more, I think, accessible in terms of mainstream and the fact the films are mostly are shorter. But I love Lord of the Rings. Uh let's see. Monkey Man 9255 says Bionicle or Hero Factory. Um, Dark Age, so we don't really. Yeah, Bionicle was during my Dark Age. I mean, I remember seeing bon Bonicle. 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 <laughs> Bonicle. I remember seeing Bionicle. <laughs> Bonicle. I can't take a few times, I can't talk. Uh, but yeah, I remember seeing Bionicle in the shops, but because it had those little tube things with the plastic tube. Yeah. But yeah, I never. And the Pringles man wants to know the most embarrassing thing to ever happen while building Lego. I don't think I have a one, but you have a very hilarious one that was like caught in a stream. Well, when the set exploded <laughs> in my hand. Yeah. That wasn't embarrassing. Well, yeah, it was. <laughs> it just went... What about the time when I did a thick fire missile and it went up in the air and went down your cleavage? Oh, yeah. Was... <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I didn't even aim for it. It just literally went... Meow. So... It... A tip for anyone who's got like any a partners. A tip or a tit? <laughs> anyone who has a partner that does Lego, make sure you do not wear low cut tops nearby if they're building Lego, especially with Lego shooters. <laughs> it was so funny though because it wasn't even aimed in that direction. No. It knew where it wanted to go and who could blame it? <laughs> oh Dear. my god. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I probably shouldn't have shared that, should I have? Yeah, there's a funny uh, moment. Apparently, oh. YouTube has hit my hands comment. Fantastic. I love that. What did you say? Uh, uh, Mrs. Brickitect is here and says, Hi, all. Nice to hear Mrs. Craggle. Hello. 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 Uh, so, what bag are you on now? Because we're actually over the hour mark now. Bag five. I'm building Goomba. I'm surprised we haven't had people saying when is this stream going to end or how long you're going to stream for. <laughs> they clearly don't mind hanging out with you. With me, they're like, oh my God, how long is this stream going to be on for? Like, how long have I got to endure this? <laughs> I do have to battle with my phone, which is something I should be a bit slow on changing the pages. Uh, we've got another qu question. Um, Larry 
Sorry, Lar- I was going to say oil. <laughs> I cannot speak. Larry Ollie 11. There you go. DC or Marvel? DC. There you go, folks. <laughs> DC fan first. I mean, I love the Marvel stuff, but yeah, we... I'm more. My favorite superhero is Wonder Woman. So, what did you think of the new movie? I really enjoyed it. I mean, it was overly long, so I can get the complaint there, and I can understand people will probably kick off because thing with DC is they have a lot of mythology. So Wonder Woman is basically the daughter of Zeus and Hippolyta, so she's a daughter of a god, but. Marvel obviously say they have to science, science, yeah, science wise. They, they sort of lead more into pseudoscience, like even though Doctor Strange does magic, it's kind of linked to um, you know, quantum realms and stuff like that. Um, especially in the MCU, like even in that, like you know, Thor is the god of thunder, but he's actually you know, Asgard is a a place in, in space, you know, he's an alien basically, isn't he? You know, yeah, and it's like rather than an actual god, um, it's like I get the hate from that point of view just because I like I said I read the I, one yeah, one yeah but you know what's weird is they didn't have that kind of, it's weird because DC has always had this thing where there's a supernatural magic exists super, supernatural exists it's great when Batman comes up against it because he absolutely hates it because he's a man of science he hates magic and stuff like that but he's um, pretty good against apocalypse well when he goes against the dark side yeah that, that that's, more, the that's more the alien type thing but yeah it's weird because Shazam, I I don't think had the same complaint about it being too far fetched or you know too much magical side of it, even though no, he is powered by magic. But one twenty four people seem to have issue with, which again was also strange because the first film has her going up against Ares, the god of war. Yeah, she's so I don't know, but yeah, yeah I really enjoyed it. And obviously, thanks to Brooke a lot again. Um, Bricked a lot, yeah. Yeah, he helped he us out. We got, us, got we, we, we were able to watch it on New Year's Day. We yeah. were going to watch it on Christmas, but we had to sort something out. So yeah, but yeah, it was. I the one thing it. I will say is that I feel like they could have trimmed off twenty minutes from the first act. But like, you know how a film has like you know the first act, the middle act, and the final act. The first act went on for like about an hour, when really that should have been yeah. like 30, 30 to forty minutes max. You I know? mean, you don't even see her in a costume until quite far into the film, which is. Well, you do, but then you don't see her again into it for ages. No. Like you have the, uh, I don't, I won't go too much more spoilers, no. but yeah, it is, it's slow. Once it gets going, I it's thought like, it was fantastic. Is it two and a half hours long, the film. Yeah, I did like. I feel of... like it was a bit too self indulgent. This one with Patty Jenkins. I feel like because she did such a great job on the first one, they gave her a bit more free reign. And you know, whilst I don't think like studios meddling is a bad thing, I feel like with film you have to have good creative collaboration of people around you to sort of like refine and hone the vision that you have and i feel like in this one it went like that first act you could have cut some scenes out of that you know someone could have said to her like we can cut this scene or we could speed up the pacing of this but they didn't you know yeah so i just figure out where these go <laughs> it's really hard to see some of the pieces like i don't like digital instructions mind them it's just, i get what's he with the mario because obviously it's all digital apparently yeah. someone says we might be able to see a, a, a face review off the plastic bag reflection really no i tear it away from i can't see my face in this and i'm trying really hard in the face reveal there's a face reveal <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I did enjoy Wonder Woman. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. Uh, someone says, you're talking about the sachet of Mario. Of Mayo. What? Sachet of Mayo. Oh, I think she's not about something else that happened. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Oh, my God. That was hilarious. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this cheek here. Brick Attack. If Craggle is building this set, it will be a seven part stream. Give it time. We've got three sets here, and she's not even finished the first one. <laughs> That's true. I'm almost finished on the yeah. first one. Benjamin Stock says Batman is the best. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's almost a cliche now. Like when I say, oh, Batman's my favorite superhero, like, oh, God, everyone says that. No, but, but you're an actual comic. I've loved Batman since I was a little kid. Um, here's something I forgot to mention to Brick Attack. I know Brick Attack's got HBO Max, and he's on about looking into some of the Batman stuff on there. Apparently, they're going to be um, streaming the entirety of Batman the Animated Series and also Batman Beyond cartoon oh. series on there. I've got them both on Blu-ray now, yeah, anyway. Yeah, we need to continue watching 
But um, mm. yeah, because I think Greg said that he used to like watching that as well in the nineties. It was. I just like, want Netflix to bring back the real Ghostbusters so I can watch it again. We watched it twice. <laughs> yeah, I like watching it. It's a good series. Uh, the Pringles man says, one hour here is seven years on Earth. Good. We will wait here for Mrs. Crackle stream to end. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what that means, but okay. I think it's a compliment. I'm getting to uh, apparently, Mahan says, I said something like, you're attacking me by comparing me to BFAB and saying my name wrong. Shut up, Mahan. Oh, God. Uh... This is to everyone. So I think people in the chat, Batman or Spider-Man? Batman. Batman. I do love Spider-Man, though. You have freaking Michael Keaton as Batman, though. Michael Batman is... Uh, well, Michael Keaton's in Spider-Man as the Vulture as well. Yes, he is. Yeah. But he's Batman. Although... I'm Batman! Like, there's only... There's two main people for Batman. There is Michael Keaton as a physical live-action Batman, and then Kevin Conroy as the voice of Batman. What, no love for Bale? I love Bale. But, like, Michael Keaton. Mm, okay. Oh, look at this. Look at this shade now. You are too <laughs> kind of craggle. It will be an eight-part stream. Oh, wow. No. I had an error message. Oh, no. Oh, someone's simping for uh, for Brickitect in the chat. <laughs> yeah. uh, Rogue Runner's back. Guess who's back? Back, back again. again. I'm going to make some noise again. I'm definitely trying to catch up on the chat. James Foster says, I feel privileged. I know what you both look like. <laughs> You're going to be inundated with people now asking for pictures of us. Uh, but I know what you look like. So yes. there. <laughs> we <don't... laughs> Hopefully we can get to see your faces in person soon. But... Yeah. Uh, the Pringles man says, Crackle, have you seen Batman Mask of the Phantasm and Batman Beyond Return of the Joker? Isn't Mask of the Phantasm one of your favourite animated Batman films? It's one of my favourite Batman movies, full stop. Until, like, I don't know, because I love Batman 89, but it's probably one of the most comic-accurate Batman movies ever. It is so good. And so is Batman Beyond Return of the Joker, but you have to watch the director's cut. There's, like, there's a, it's very much an adult film, and they cut so much out. But not only that, they change scenes in the edited version. And I have a copy, a Region 1 copy on DVD of Return of the Joker, but it doesn't work on any of my DVD players. It worked on my old DVD player because that was multi-region. That was like a big classic. What's really one. bad, though, is that in the UK, when you bought the Batman Beyond Blu-ray set, it came with Return of the Joker, but not only did it come with the edited version, it came with a DVD copy of it, not a Blu-ray copy. Yeah. So, so you... I need to get a copy of the okay, unedited yeah, one, yeah. Blu-ray, Region 3, yeah. But yeah, that is a. Uh, both those films are fantastic. Uh, let's see. League. I don't know what it means. Oh, the Arkham games. Yeah, I don't know what League means. But have you played the Batman Arkham games? They are really good. Yeah, I love them. Love the Arkham games. Although, I can't believe it's been so long since the last one. Last one was Arkham Origins, wasn't it? No, it was Arkham um, Arkham Knight. Was it? Oh yeah, sorry, Arkham Knight. I forgot they did that one. Okay. Arkham Origins was done by a different company, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, That's the problem when they get different companies. Arkham like... Arkham Knight was good, but there was two problems I had with it: an over reliance on the Batmobile, and secondly, they got rid of Paul Dini. Paul Dini is a fantastic Batman writer. He has brought so much to the Batman mythos. And he was one of the head writers on the animated series in the 90s. And when I saw his name pop up, like, in the opening credits of the first Arkham Asylum game, I was like, oh, my God, this is awesome. And he said that he set up stuff from the first game to the second game that he thought was going to be in the third game. But when the third game came around, they didn't, they just basically didn't, like, hire him. Like, he wasn't contracted to a third game. Each game he got hired to do each one. But he assumed it was kind of basically like a gentleman's agreement that he'd be back for the third one. But what they did is they hired a team of their own internal writers to write Arkham uh, Knight. So it was written by committee. And it really does show. Like, the story is easily the weakest part of that game, along with the over-reliance on the Batmobile. It's still a great-looking game, and it's still fun to play. But I feel like Arkham City is where it reached its peak. Yeah, it did. 
Is that your favorite? What's your favorite one of the Arkham games? I think I never got on with Arkham Asylum just because I'm not. I didn't think I was very good at the controls on that one. I was terrible at it. Well, it didn't help. The first level I put you on was the Killer Croc one in the sewer when you're trying oh, to I run away from Killer Croc. <laughs> yeah, that's probably actually why. It's like the most stressful level in the oh entire game. God. How many times did I die on that one? I'm just putting this up because I think they're talking about me. No. <laughs> uh, Thomas Sampson says, do you like the new city road plates? They look cool, but we don't have a city because we don't have the space for a city. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's about it, right? <laughs> I don't. I, well, the one problem I have is that it seems to have jumped the price up by twenty quid on every single Lego City twenty twenty one set that includes them. Yeah. Like even the skater park, they're all like way more expensive than they should be. Uh, apparently, Rogue Runner is uh, doing some exams right now. Oh, yeah, because they've got uh, the... Do, basically studying from home, haven't they? Yeah. Do you like the Lego DC movies? Watched a couple of them, haven't uh, we? Yeah. I think... They're all right. Yeah, they're okay. Not anything not, like... They're not really aimed at us, are they? No. Uh, well, the Lego Batman movie is my favourite DC movie. <laughs> it's a great film. Ooh, Under the Red Hood. Under the... Oh. This is the animated film. Donald Jensen Ackles, not the new. Well, one. was that answer to a question? No, I'm thinking like his favorite DC. Under the Red Hood's a fantastic one, yeah. Um... Very, very dark. Oh, Kim and Joe. Well, Kim and Joe, the graphic novel is better than the actual film. Uh, Larry Oli 11 says, yeah, there is a new Arkham game being made. The only problem with the new one is that, spoilers, since Batman dies, a new one will be only Robin, Batgirl, Nightwing, and another, I forgot who is. I don't think that one's an Arkham game, though. That was some confusion because they both got announced at DC Fandom. There's Gotham Knights, which has Red Hood, Nightwing, and Batgirl. Robin, and Batgirl, mm. which looks like it follows on from Arkham night because it starts with batman's death but they've said that's even though that's done by the team who did it's montreal isn't it yeah warner bros montreal who worked on the arkham origins um it's not part of the arkham verse which is so confusing because it literally starts with batman leaving a message for the the team you know if i die you're, you're, you're watching this if i die the actual next arkham game is the suicide squad one Ooh. Which is set in Metropolis, and I think it's Kill the Justice League is called. Yeah. And that apparently is a continuation of the Arkham verse. But it's the problem is, is that Arkham. Deadshot looks completely different to what he did in the Arkham City. And also, there's the Arkham uh, animated movie, Assault on Arkham, as well. That's cool. It's a single. Like an L1. With a... Yeah. I've never seen this piece before. That's cool. Is it new for 2020? Yeah, I find his face. Um, yeah, I think that's probably the Suicide Squad. Is obviously, we'll, we'll probably get a Xbox new one. Yeah. Yeah, he's probably seen them all apart from the latest one. Killing Joke. And um, what was the new one they've released, which is the interactive one, which everyone hates? Oh, Death, Death in the Family. Yeah, I was excited for that when they announced it. And then they went, especially when they said it was going to tie into Under the Red Hood, but it's basically like an interactive film where you choose options. But they said all the new footage in it is like really subpar animation. But yeah, we've seen lots of uh, the DC animated universe. <laughs> Flashpoint Paradox is really good as well. Yes, that is pretty good. Yeah, Monkey Man also says, yeah, Suicide Squad Killer Justice League is a new Arkham game. That looks really good. Um, I don't know what that means. Let's. Not Generally, my movie. streams are PG, so you can do like some innuendo and stuff like that. Generally, stuff that would go over kids' heads, but let's not be too explicit. Yeah, don't explain to someone's chat. Yeah, so there's like... yeah, don't 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 start like dropping yeah, don't swear know. words or you know other explain stuff. Explaining the ins and outs yeah. or something. Let's try and keep it fairly family friendly. Be fast, uh... one isn't it? <laughs> BFAB's gone. Yeah, there's no donations. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know he's disappeared. So I feel like we've dried up all the questions in the chat right now. Oh, we checked our light. There's one here from 501st Bricks. Who's looking forward to One Division on Friday? Yes. Yeah, I'm really looking good. forward to it. Now, what would you say? Which is which? 
There's one that's a star and one that's plain. Well, since there's no star on that side, I'd say stars on that one by so default. You, so you think it'll be that side? Yeah, facing outwards. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ah, fail. Try to do it one handed. Not good. Yes, one division. I think it's going to be fantastic. But at the same time, it's like, I need to watch Cobra Kai. <laughs> And you know it's going to be sp well. Saying that though, One Division is not the case where they put the whole season in one go. No, it's just the first but, two episodes this week. Yeah, they're putting two episodes up because they don't normally do that on Disney Plus. I don't think Mando is only Mando is one. one episode a week. Um, they don't do it with every season on Netflix. In all fairness, like I Zombie, they did it on a weekly basis, but that was just because it was like a day behind it showing on TV in America. But yeah. You're working this weekend, aren't you, though? So, um, yeah, I don't know. So, what are you thinking of this build so far? This one is just basically like another when you did the first starter pack from Mario from Wave One, so you build all the little bits and like the track. Well, I don't remember the first one having any buildable characters besides Mario. The, well, mm. Mario's not really buildable, is it? I don't know. Mario, what you you add stuff onto you, him, it's very dusty, it's been on front of my TV for ages. Um, yeah, you just Did you just kiss Mario? No, I blew the dust off his face. Yeah, you just add on this stuff. Um, I think you do build some, like, I think you build a Goomba, like you've done in this one. Not a poop. Because you haven't got a Mario in this one, though, there's more, I think, of the billable characters, like yes. the uh, yellow Yoshi. The he is, he's, he's yellow Yoshi. I Yoshi's in Yoshi, have a, Yoshi. Right in the chat. We'll put it to the chat. Chat. Isn't that a yellow Yoshi? So it it okay, so we'll, is. We'll have a look. Bring out. What are you doing? Bring oh. out Yoshi. Oh my god. He's in here somewhere. What have I done? Trying to find Yoshi. He's oh. hiding in here somewhere. Hello. Is yeah. anybody out there? There he is. It's the same thing. Look at it. It's the same thing. Green Yoshi, yellow Yoshi, or Yoshi, Yoshi. or what? Well, whatever. They're the same thing. Yoshi. Literally the same. I have blue Yoshi. I've got your hair on my hand now. My hair gets everywhere. I know. It's like having a dog. You don't need a dog. You've got your hair everywhere. I'm yours. Okay, that's a beard hair, that one there. I was going to say, yeah, your beard <laughs> hair gets everywhere. Oh, dear. Please, please what is this stream devolved into? Yoshi over there. Um, people will tell me it's not Yoshi. It's a Koopa. It's a Koopa Paratoopa. Yeah, Yoshi is green. This is a yellow Yoshi. It's the same. They're all the same. It's like a dinosaur. What's about it? <laughs> Goofy Brick. Build an overpriced set, are we? Wow. Yeah, Mario. I... Uh... <laughs> They are a little bit expensive. Like this was fifty. Oops, as I threw a stud around. It depends on what value you have. Like this also has technology in it, and that obviously costs money to develop, and you yeah. know, it's a different price point than uh, actual standard Lego. If you're looking at it as like a price per piece with a regular Lego set, it's definitely overpriced. It's it's like anything though. It's what is it worth to you? And you certainly, I think, got you know a lot of enjoyment out of it. Yeah. I mean, for a few weeks, we didn't have a dining table because you had all your Lego <laughs> Super Mario stuff all over it, didn't you? Yeah, and then I had to make space because me work. I mean, what price do you put on Mrs. Crackle's smile? <laughs> One million dollars. One million. One billion dollars. Now I just need to get the nest. <laughs> what? What is this? Why are people <laughs> trying to trigger me? How rude. There is more Parker Jack fan art than Parker... Wait, there... I mean, the fact that there's any Parker Crackle fan art is quite funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, any more questions for the Mrs. Crackle? You, have you finished that set? No, you haven't finished that set yet. No, because I've got these pieces. And oh, we've been going for over an hour. We're going up to an hour and a half now. How long do you think the string is going to go on for? I don't know, but like something's missing on this, but oh no, this isn't missing pieces. Oh no, that's why it's because it it's the alternate build, is it? Or? It crashed on me earlier, it wouldn't load this one up. 
I, I skipped a bit. That's fine. The good thing is you Who can skip pieces. Who likes pylons? Pylons? As in, As in stuff like the net, is it? Like electrical pylons? I don't know. I don't get that. <laughs> Someone will have to explain that to me. Explain? 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 explain. Oh, here you go. Here's a good question. From Monkey Man 9255 Series 21 Craggle or Ninjago Craggle? Well, hmm. we haven't got a Series 21 yet, have we? Because that's nope, from Lego.com. And even still... then, we don't know what ones we're going to no, get. <laughs> we just got a few of them, so it's completely blind. Um... At the moment, I would say obviously Ninjago because we haven't got the other. You've Craggle. seen pictures of the series twenty one. It's yeah. Craggle with crabs, as people keep telling me. <laughs> the crab is adorable though, so I'd probably say yeah, twenty one. <laughs> so you 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 would rather have Craggle with crabs than Craggle as a ninja. Pet crab, and you have tattoos as a ninja. You don't have tattoos in real life. <gasps> they don't know that. We do now. Oh. Wow. Tattoo reveal. Tattoo reveal. <laughs> Uh, Frankie Toot says, did the bomb arm come with this set or a previous set? The bomb arm was the first build of this set. It's bag one. Yeah. yeah. Basically, it's this small little bag. And she killed Mario and he's not spoken since. I'll show you. I'll probably have to move it a bit closer. He doesn't die. He goes, woohoo. Wow. Oh, wait, I'm, just, I'm gonna make him go sleepy now. <laughs> Sorry, you'll hear him snoring. Uh, Benjamin Stock says I haven't got them as well. I live in the UK. Yeah. Uh, apparently, someone's watching Mr. Bean. Oh, yeah. Mr. Bean. Do, do, do. I love Mr. Bean. Mario. And he says, "So, Crago or Boloba or Jack, who are you really? <laughs> I am everyone." <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Sith live inside me. I'm trying to do like a really cool voice here, and I've got Mario snoring. Wow. Oh. Okay. I do love that little feature. Someone said, "Look up the chat." He's looking at the chat. Okay. Apparently, we missed it twice. Original Blade Runner or Blade Runner 2049? I've not actually seen the new one. I don't like you. I don't like. I didn't like Blade Runner. To be honest with you, so. I watched it years ago when it first came out. So how could you have watched when it I, when it first came out? No, you probably want to add on video. You since. weren't born then. No, I probably watched it on video with my yeah, dad's you weren't, collection. You might have been born when they brought out one of the several different director's cuts. Maybe yeah. they've like brought out like ten. There's ten different versions of it. I've seen about four, and I didn't really enjoy any of them. There's part just, of it I like. Like I love the final bit of the speech. The uh, Lost like tear drops in the rain, or tears in the rain. But yeah, I find them find Blade Runner quite pretentious and overrated, to be honest. And I can't stand Ryan Gosling, so I had no desire to watch the other one. Have you seen this? Uh, if you're gonna keep spamming silly comments, we're gonna have to time you out. I'm afraid. You spamming what? Uh, just people are spamming just random stuff for some reason. Larry Oli Eleven says. What are your feelings about the new Indiana Jones film? The fifth one, I think. I mean, um, I can't really make a decision just yet. I mean, I love the fact that Harrison is back because Harrison is Indiana Jones, but and he's so old now, he is old, bless him. It's gonna be like have to be set like in the 70s or something to be. <laughs> are they gonna use de aging technology? Probably de aging. I mean, people didn't like the fact that the fourth one was set in the 40s to be accurate with how he had aged. I didn't, uh, not the 40s, the 50s, sorry. The originals are set in the 40s. The fourth one was set in the 50s. I didn't mind that so much. And I quite liked having it like against the backdrop of the Cold War with the Russians. What I didn't like was the interdimensional aliens and that freaking trope of like, oh, aliens taught us how to farm. It's been used in like a dozen different films because now. Everything has to have aliens in it. Uh, it's built. See how so do you want to show it off, Nana? Yeah. Built the first set, and it took you almost an hour and a half. <laughs> Only an hour and a half? Yeah, this is all it. I've not put anything together yet. Well, I did put this one together. Yeah, I mean, this is quite cool. I'm sure you 
think you pop a box in here, this is going to go flying. I'm pretty sure oh. that's, a, that's a fake Corey, because I think I've modded Corey on my channel. I don't think you did, because you didn't have an Instagram. I thought I did, because Ryan told me it was a real one. Could be. Uh, thoughts on cheese. We love cheese. We love cheese. Watch this. That's pretty cool. <laughs> and you can turn it around and do it. Sorry, I'm just rocking the noises. Okay, so that's built. I'm not going to put them together. Like, You're not going to not gonna have a quick run through? I'm trying to see what the new uh, pipes goes like. Okay. Just put them together. You can catch up on the chat if there's anything to catch up on the chat. Well, there's some guy going on about beans a lot. I don't know why. Beans are nice. I need my finishing line. I don't know if we've lost the people now who uh, have coherent speech. I know I don't. <laughs> what are you looking for? I need the finishing line. Wait, so this is some Kamala finishing line? Yeah. Oh, it's an expan expansion on the first one. Wow. Oh, that's a bit Okay. Right. You're going to do a course then, or? Yeah, I'm building a course now. You're going to build a course. Okay. Mm -hmm. Make sure I can draw. Uh... <laughs> I am Blast 98. Opinions on society. We live in one. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Pretty much. Do I have no idea what this entails now, so we're going to be leaving this up to Mrs. Craggle. I'm going to build a course, which I need to remember, but you need to make sure you have just the one space in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we might be here for several more hours whilst Mrs. Craggle decides to build this. Ten million years later. Ten million years later. Let's go to lava, shall we? I've got a song on my head now. Oh, the I love you. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Off Moana. Well, it's off the Moana. I don't know. There's some random stuff going on in the chat right now. About society, I don't know. <laughs> this okay. is a Lego Super Mario stream, people. <laughs> Here to philosophize about the state of society. Which are you? Should we use a mystery box? Or the time box? I don't know. Mystery box. Which one? Light blue or dark blue? Light blue. Uh, Andy, you says, I want to... Why is it not bring it up? Wait a second. Let me click on it again. I want to uh, I want to get the Mario Star set, but not sure if $60 really justifies it. I think these will make great display pieces. No. I mean, I have to store it away because I've got no room. Do you actually enjoy playing with it as a grown flea male? Flea male. Flea male. Ah, go in. Oh, so best to work on a solid surface because I tried it on a carpet. It doesn't work very well. Mario, are you still asleep? He hasn't powered off. Have you not finished this course yet? Almost. Oh, my word. We're, draw we're hemorrhaging viewers now whilst we wait for you to finish this. Sorry. Everyone's abandoning ship. I think I'm going to do that one out. <laughs> Is this the content you subscribe for? <laughs> okay. Are we ready? Yeah. Did you forget something? I did. I knocked him off. There you go. I, know, I think he's supposed to go across here. Yeah. I don't know what the thing is. Two coins. I feel like you cheated. Did you even knock any of the bad guys over? You don't knock this one over. You have to probably just go. 
<laughs> I know that was so violent. What did you do, Ray? Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's that one. I feel like you're supposed to knock something over, though, surely. That one. I did... Whoa, now you do it. I did knock that one up, but not too far. So wow. it didn't go flying like that, because I knew it was going to go flying. I feel like Christopher Mitz is watching the stream back like an hour behind. <laughs> Why, was he put, Master Phantasm, best map my movie, period, then Batman 89 and Dark Knight, and then Return the Joker. But we were talking about that like an hour ago. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's move these guys over so I should crack on to the next. Do you want next. to do another one or do you want to put it there? I didn't know. I'd have to at least build this one for breaks a lot. You're going to do the San Diego one, is it? Yeah. Oh. For breaks a lot. For breaks a lot. For breaks a lot. For Frodo. For breaks a lot. Okay. We've got Hello from Sean Studios. And this is the set. Do you want to tell us again about this set, the, the backstory behind this? So, yeah, this one is the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive that they would have sold at the convention last year. But mm -hmm. obviously, due to what's going on with the world, they didn't. Obviously, can't really go to a convention. So they started to basically sell this limited edition over worldwide. So it should be able to generally purchase. But being Lego and San Diego Comic-Con exclusive sets or even Comic-Con exclusive sets, couldn't get them over in the UK. So our good friend, Brooke Delott, managed to hook me up with this one and we've had it for quite some time and i haven't got around to opening it yet you were so keen to take it out of the parcel so i couldn't do a whole video on it and yeah. yet you haven't got around to building it yet no not yet but my so, wood is good oh no mario's gonna what have you done oh dear he wasn't even all right guys brace yourself we're in for another one now hopefully this will be over quicker yes because i can use scissors <laughs> Trying to stab myself in the face. Oh, wow. That's uh, 501st Brick says, I was about to get the Mario Star set for £35 from Amazon on Black Friday, but didn't. That's pretty good, right? Yeah, because this is like 50 quid normally. Wow. Mind you, I had my original starter pack pre ordered. Apparently, Andy, you only, only wanted to play with the NES. Yeah. I yeah, I that. need to get the NES. The thing that puts me off is the TV. I, I feel like the NES is cool, but I have no interest in the TV. I know that's probably like people like blaspheme, but Mario, that Mario is so rude. <laughs> you try to have a conversation and he's just snoring. What's he gonna say in this one? Nothing. Yeah, I need to get Bowser's Castle. Uh, did you get any pops for Christmas? I don't think we got any for Christmas, did we? Well, you got the Funko Pop game that I got you, the Back to the Future. Oh, tell a lie. Yes, I got the Funko vs. Back to the Future board game, which I'm hoping that we can play on a live stream on Craggle's Den soon. Um, in fact, we've got a few different of the Funko vs. board games, and the great thing with those is that you can, like, mismatch them together. So you can have, like, Jurassic Park characters with Back to the Future Um and Batman characters. And we've got, we've got, we've got the Batman one. We've got Back to the Future and Jurassic Park, I think. Yeah. So hopefully, like, I'm going to try and see the logistics of it. I've had that on a upcoming Craggles Den stream. That's my uh, alternate uh, YouTube account. It's not Lego based. It's where I just uh, show general geeky stuff like Funko Pops. Um, yeah, that should that be fun. Yeah, that would be. Because we played the, um, the games. Well, we played the DC game in Comic Con. It was a Star Wars Celebration, wasn't it? No, it was no, MCM. It was, oh, it was MCM. Yeah, sorry. It was at the Excel, yeah. Yeah, he had the fun code. Yeah, thing. when the guy was doing the free like um, tutorial on how to play a game, he made it seem so freaking boring, though, didn't he? He did. And mm. I, they are a bit expensive when they're full price, but if you give them a deal, they're worth it just for the, uh, the half size Funko Pops, aren't they? Yeah, they're quite cute, the little Pops. Storm Chicken, hello there. Hello. Oh, Five of First Brick says I got 1955 Doc and Marty for Christmas. That's pretty cool. Nice. Yeah, I like those. So, so yeah, they're up behind those ones we moved. They're up there somewhere. They're both in pop, uh, soft pop protectors as well. Because I think we've gone yeah. from Double Box Toys. Yeah, the whole big collection they did. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's a video on my Crackles Den channel about the uh, the Back to the Future haul I had. I have got some more Funko Pops that arrived 
Well, one of them arrived today, actually, and two of them arrived yesterday, so I'm going to do a whole video on those soon, aren't I? Yes, you are. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to Craggle's Den as well for all your Funko Pop needs. <laughs> it's true, as this is my first Toad. Toad. Yeah, because it wasn't the exclusive to this set and one other set. The Toad. Like um, it, it came in the really, really big expensive one or this one. That one. You get the pink Toad. You get Toad as well. The pink oh, okay. One. Yeah, because they won these ones. Because you I've said got you only wanted that set for Toad, didn't you originally? Yeah, that one and Big Bowser's Castle. I don't Bowser because he dry. You get a dry bone and Bowser. Oh, so the skeleton Yoshi. Dry bones. He's skeleton Yoshi. What? You think Yoshi wrong as well? Yoshi. Uh, five oh first bricks says, "What do you think the best pop of 2020 was?" Oh. I didn't get many pops myself. I've been obviously picking up the Yoda ones, Baby Yoda. You've just got you've got a collection of Baby Yoda pop figures. I need two more, I think. What to complete the collection? Mm -hmm. Fair yeah, enough. Two more, I think. I don't know because in twenty twenty, I I went back and got into Stranger Things pops. Like, I'm a big Stranger Things fan and I'm a big Funko Pop fan. But I said I'm not going to start collecting Stranger Things uh, Funko Pops because once I go down that rabbit hole. I will never come back. And this year, I ended up buying a lot of Stranger Things Funko Pops, but they weren't necessarily ones from twenty or you know, from twenty twenty. <laughs> you having fun there? <laughs> what? Did he just give you coins? Is he? Me again? Yeah. Okie dokie. <laughs> uh. Apparently, PX Preview I Am Iron Man got my vote. Oh, that's the one he does the snap from uh, uh, yeah, Endgame. The that was a pretty cool one. Yeah. yeah. Rick Banner says, hello. No. It's not a dry Yoshi. No, it's a skeleton Yoshi. Dry bones. It's skeleton Yoshi. Dry bones. Skeleton Yoshi. He's cute. Uh, our craft or Roblox? I don't know what Arrowcraft is. Arrowcraft? I own Minecraft. Let's see, I Minecraft. Oh, is that a joke? Because our mine? Yeah. Yeah. And then Roblox. Um, I've not really played either that much. Oh, well, I haven't played Roblox at all. Have I actually played Minecraft? I can't remember if I have now or not. I think I have. <laughs> I don't know. I played Lego Worlds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Buggy like game, but yeah. good game. Yeah, those pieces went flying. So I have a question for you, since this kind of dried up into a uh, Star Wars Revenge of the Sith uh, quoting fest in the comments right now. <laughs> um, so my question for you, Mrs. Craggle, is what's it like to be engaged to the most handsome, sexiest, talented Lego YouTuber <laughs> there is in the entire universe? Absolutely awesome. Well, there you go, folks. You heard it here. Straight from Mrs. Craggle's mouth. It is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I, why have we got that song in my head now? Well, everything is awesome. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you got the super cool one. Uh, apparently, Lego Worlds is one of the worst games I've ever played, says it's I Am Blaster 98. Very glitchy. It's a great game. The problem is, like I said this before, my understanding of like Minecraft is that by having the sort of outdated graphics of Minecraft, one, they've made it kind of timeless because you don't play Minecraft for the graphics, so it doesn't matter you know, if graphics improve because that's the Minecraft style. But secondly, it allows you to do a lot because you haven't, you're haven't, you not putting the same sort of strain on a system or a game engine you know, to render those kind of high graphics. Whereas LEGO Worlds tried doing what Minecraft was with basically the most up-to-date LEGO video game graphics. And especially on a console, it really, really didn't work. Like, I enjoyed the game, but there were so many bugs, so many glitches, like loading errors and stuff like that. And it also wasn't exactly clear the direction you were supposed to go in. In one part, it kind of looked like there was like a straightforward progression. In other words, it was more open world. It was just a bit of a mess. I enjoyed it, but you could very easily waste hours in there without getting anything done. 
and not in a good way. It wasn't a case of like, oh, I spent hours doing this and it was so much fun. I didn't accomplish anything, but I had a great time. You'd be like going around in hours trying to do this one simple thing. And, you know, four hours later, you've done nothing, you know? Yeah, I guess it's kind of like the Lego version of Sims. Where is that Lego? Where you basically put a lot of effort and time into it and then like... Yeah. Stuff. But... I don't know. I did, I did enjoy it, but... My Lego World's Christmas video keeps doing well every single Christmas. Like when I first put that video up of me playing, like I think it was like the first twenty minutes of the Christmas World that they did, uh, you know, when Lego Worlds was new. Like it got like two hundred views. It was when I wasn't, you know, I had I think I had a thousand subscribers at the time, but no one watched it. But like over the course of the last four years, every Christmas it does like another five thousand views, and I think it's on like nineteen thousand now. <laughs> It's like okay. <laughs> you never know the pain of trying to find that biome, though. It would not load up. It wouldn't create yeah. it first of all. It's like it's not appearing. Oh, Matrus Potrovsky is now leaving. So uh, they need to sleep. So bye. 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 Uh, I am blast ninety eight says R I P the chat. Yeah, I feel like the chat's being killed here. Too so, many. Um, uh... I killed it. You didn't kill it. I feel like it's all the different Star Wars quotes in here. Ah, uh, Star Wars is good, that's fine. Well, apart from... If you have any more sensible questions for the missus, let us know and I'll ask them. Or if you have anything about Lego Mario to say... I'm going to mark on this piece. See? That sucks. Unless she's like a... It's mm. not... Yeah, <laughs> this is a blemish. Production error. Uh... What do you think of the KFC, KFC console? Oof. It's crazy that this is a thing, isn't it? I would have thought of like it's an April Fools, but obviously it's too early for April Fools. No, exactly. I think it, it is January. Yeah, it's, it's like genuine. a thousand pounds or something like that. It's something ridiculous. I mean, the only thing I think of right now is how much I want to have some KFC, <laughs> but it's quite late here now. Well, I haven't had my dinner yet, so. <laughs> KFC for dinner after the stream. Hurry up, quick, get building. I think I have some KFC. It's finger licking good. <laughs> Problem, the question is are we going to order by Uber Eats or drive up and get it? I'd rather just drive up and get it. And hopefully they have gravy. Oh, yeah, you've got to have gravy. Gravy is like one of the best things about KFC. Although I never ask too many questions about what's in the gravy. I don't want to know, but it you tastes don't gorgeous. Know. I remember seeing an article on Metro about it. Uh, Mark B says, back to Lego, what's Mrs. Craggle's favourite Lego theme? Favourite Lego theme? Mm. I do love Mario. I love it even better than did Legend of Zelda, but that's not the thing. Um, yeah, I think Mario at the moment... I I go back and forth different themes, don't I? You've got a lot of brickheads. Oh yeah, I do love the brickheads. A lot of them. I did. Last one I got was well, technically it was the Elf and Elfy one because they had an offer on an Asda. I said I wasn't gonna, wasn't going to pay full price for it. And it was like ten quid for it or something like that. I was like, I'd get it. Um, yeah. Still, funny story. I actually found the Miss Mrs. Claus and Mister Claus or Santa in the loft after Christmas, and like I was looking for it everywhere. <laughs> you found it within two seconds as well. I was well. like, oh, great. even though you couldn't find it before. So yeah. That's gonna so, be what, so Mario or Brickhead's at the moment, although it does change. It does change. You don't yeah. tend to stink to any uh, one theme, though, do you? You, no. you dab on all sorts. Like I've got obviously the first Technic set. That was you got a Technic set this year, yeah. That's actually really fun as well. Uh, I'm constantly going you, back. And forth you, I don't you got any Ninjago stuff though, have you? I got the Green Mech Dragon from Ninjago movie. Oh, you got yeah. You had you had Lego Ninjago movie stuff. And yeah. mine hasn't jumped off a shelf yet. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, mind you, it's, it's broken apart and put in the loft. So. Uh, what is better, Lego Mario or pandas? Pandas are adorable. Especially, do you remember the old clip of the sneezing panda? Oh. I love that. You just watch a video of just pandas playing around and they are so cute. I feel like we need to, to ban this person. First, they destroy the chat with their Star Wars quotes, oh. and now they are throwing shade at KFC Gravy. Don't disagree. Uh, can we have a mod in the chat? Uh, ban I am Blaster 98, please. <laughs> Uh, what do you think of Darth Charger? <laughs> As a bad guy with the Star Wars? Yeah. 
<laughs> it's the theory, isn't it, that he's actually a secret Sith Lord? And you know, yeah, yeah. What is the best Lego set for ASMR? ASMR is that the like you know, when people are breathing heavily down the microphone or they're drinking coffee? I you remember, I had I had that Spotify on when I was in work, and it was the free Spotify. So every five seconds, you had an advert, and it was like, "This is ASMR." Um, tea and it was someone drinking iced tea and it was like the sound of the water going in the glass and then the ice cubes and all that you know I don't know mm. Misa thinks a bad idea <laughs> hey what is the best Mario set of 2021 because I've only got this so far <laughs> <laughs> well I've got these little guys as well yeah I've got the power Goomba um I do like the look of the chain chomp, but you don't like the look of it because it's too square. Is it, have you ordered that one? No. No. I Do I dare say what I ordered? Because I'll see it's going to be a whole video. Well, I've only ordered a couple of things. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Um. Yeah, I like the look of the, the chain chomp one. You like Chain Chomp anyway, because he's mm. also in Link's Awakening, isn't he? Yes, he is. I got yeah. you think that. I, enjoy, I, enjoy, I haven't finished it yet, but I enjoy playing uh, Link's Awakening, at the remake on the Switch. Or re, is it remake, remaster? It's a yeah. remaster, really. Yeah. It I mean, like I think they Nintendo. rebuilt it from the ground up, but you know, it's it's the same. They haven't changed anything apart from the graphics, have they? You know? No. And um, Link is adorable. Pringles Man says, Craggle, best Lego set of 2020. Ooh. Best Lego set of 2020. My mind is so much on 2021 sets right now. The ones that I'm waiting for. I'm trying to think. What was the best Lego set of last year? It's difficult because like Pops, last year some of my biggest Lego hauls were stuff from previous years because like last year I collected all the Pirates of the Caribbean stuff, didn't I? Mm. Um. Do you mean like the best set I bought, or do you mean the? I think I think and they mean the best set that was released in twenty twenty. Uh, I'm struggling to think. I'm drawing a blank of what was actually released last year. Mario came out last year. Yeah, I'm not going to say that though, am I? You can if you want to. <laughs> yeah, Mario. Um, He's not snoozing. He's turned off now. I mean, five hundred first brick says the best Lego set of twenty twenty was the five hundred first battle pack. I do actually have that. It's quite cool. You have that, yeah. Um, oh, I'm struggling to think. What, what did I even buy last year? Diagon, <laughs> like I can't... Alley? Diagon Alley was a fantastic set. Yes, Diagon Alley was superb. Um, Stay. I probably, double, yeah, double. probably say Diagon Alley. I think at the moment. I mean, the Razor Crest was a set I. I ordered, mm. tried to cancel my pre-order because I kind of went off it, the fact that you know, the hardly any of the figures were exclusive. And at the time, I wanted to buy Diagon Alley more. Had to send it back because I couldn't cancel my pre-order in time. And then decided I did want it after season two of The Mandalorian. Uh, oh, so, yeah. And uh, you got it for me for Christmas, and I loved it. But I still feel like the minifigs are the, are the weakest part of the set. Yeah, um, see, by the time I had... Um... Ooh, baby Yoda. Or the UCS Baby Yoda. Mm, I like that build. I'm not a massive fan. <laughs> he built it. It looks working. like Kermit the Frog had a baby with Gizmo <laughs> from Gremlins. Uh, yeah, I say Diagon Alley. I feel like Diagon Alley is going to be the best one. He fell over. Stay up. It's going to fall over. Uh, you've got some people saying Mario Five or First Battle Pack. Do the Crabbles keep all our boxes? Yes, we do. Uh, well. There are some exceptions, technically. Brickheads. If they're non exclusive brickheads, so like the standalone Bear Valentine stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, I, have, I did throw away the Beauty and the Beast ones. Yeah, I'm surprised you threw those away because how rare they are. But yeah, I've the brickhead boxes, ones, though, it's, that, it's the ones where the cardboard's really thin and flimsy yeah. now. I, I, I gotta be honest, because I've had bought a couple of Playmobil stuff last year, that the Playmobil boxes are so much better quality. They're all like this where it's a thicker cardboard you can open them up sorry you can open them up and then close them and they're, they're great for like storage after the fact whereas a lot of lego ones are designed i feel like to be disposable you know with punch especially uk with punch tabs and stuff oh i hate punch tabs. uh brickheads though like we kept like the back to the future twin pack ghostbusters twin pack 
I've got um, a mini and Mickey one still kept. Yeah, but just generally, just yeah. Otherwise, we keep Lego boxes. We do also store boxes within boxes, don't we? Yeah, so, so they're open. Because you, you guys know, you get a Lego box and like two thirds of it are air. And then you put it back in and you've got this empty space. So what we'll do is we'll put the set in the box and then the rest of the space in that box, we'll put another set. So it's kind of like Russian dolls. We do kind <laughs> yeah. of keep the manuals in um, box files now just because they could get increased. But yeah. yeah, otherwise they're just boxes and boxes and also reusing the Lego boxes they come in, like the packing pop boxes. Uh, James Foster says, do you think there should be a remastered version of Zelda... O O T. Ocarina of Time in Wind Waker. Oh. <gasps> oh, hell yes. Isn't there a rumour that there's going to be an Ocarina of Time remake coming onto the Switch? I don't know. Wasn't there, like, I know, in, wasn't there in the trailer they did last year for Breath of the Wild 2? Wasn't there Easter egg for something mask? Majora's Mask. Majora's moon. Mask was in the, in the trailer? Yeah, it was the face moon, moon yeah. face thing one. Oh, there you go. How did I forget this? Larry Odie 11. Did what about the Ecto-1? Yeah. Yeah, yes. it's going to be even tied probably between Diagon Alley and Ecto-1. Because I don't normally get sets that aren't minifig scale. I generally, you know, look, I like minifig scale type sets. My idea, my dream one day is to have a Lego City. Like a massive Lego City, multi-tiered. Like I love the ones in the uh, in Lego House. Um, but I love the 89 Batmobile on the Ecto-1. Uh, cars, the big sets. Did that just crash on you again? <laughs> it just crashed on me. How buggy is this app? <laughs> that's like yeah. the third time in the stream that's crashed on you. It's going to ask me my year I was born again. Oh, no, I didn't. Actually, and you yeah. says, Diagonally made me fall in love with modulars. Yeah, although modulars have been a bit weak in recent years. I like the bookstore. My favourite part, though, is the townhouse. But I'm, I feel like if... I don't feel like if it came out today, I would rush out and get it, even though I did when it came out. I got it on day one. I haven't bought the police station. It does nothing for me. Um, I'd rather try and get the Palace Cinema. I mean, I love the Corner Garage. A lot of people hated that. I didn't get the hate for that. I, the, I like um... the diner as well, although I feel like they could have made the diner more. Like, there's only kind of one real booth in there. My favourite is still the Tector's Office, which I have. That is a pretty one. I love that one. There's so, you know, so much fun. You've got the Texas office, you've got the barber shop, you've got the pool hall, the billards, you know, the billards are, yeah, bollards even. No, oh. billards. billards. Yeah, I was right the first time. Bollards. Yeah, billards. What a lot of bollards. <laughs> um, Pringles man, strangest parent of all time. What you mean, me and Mrs. Craggle? That's very rude. <laughs> wow. Okay. One pairing is in a wow. Marvel film. Uh, Five hundred first brick says I got the UCS Grogu for <gasps> Christmas, but haven't built him yet. It's such a cute little build. Uh, Pringles Man also says, I keep Lego boxes for the picture on the front and back. Okay. I mean, this one. I have the Lego Star Wars 30381. What is 30381? 30381. Let's have a look. <laughs> I fight a poly bag. Okay. Do Fair we enough. have that? No. It's come up with Solo. Ah, yeah. We no, don't I don't know. have that one. If I did, I don't remember having it. Um, Mark B also says, did you ever get into Professor Layton on the DS? I got hooked on those games. Oh, Professor Layton. I remember playing actually one of my friends. Um, she had the game. But yeah, it's basically a mystery thing. I think I remember seeing like one a... in your DS case. I don't think I had Professor Layton. Oh, I thought you had one. I did one. wonder, but I never got it. But yeah, I played on it before. So it's a good little game. Apparently, Larry only 11. I'm playing Breath of the Wild right now, and I've only beaten Varuta, the Elephant, and the Eagle. I have beaten three of them. I have one more. I've actually cleared the level for the one in the desert, so I think, yes, she's the Elephant. No, Elephant's in the water one. Um, well, the one in the desert, so in Grudo Desert. I've defeated the actual challenge, so I've managed to unlock to get to the boss level. But yeah, I failed so many times trying to defeat Thunderblight Gun and I just gave up. So I've just been going around getting all my hearts increased and getting the electric outfits and stuff. I have no idea what any of that means. You see me play. Cut the Crackle versus the app. Well, Mrs. Craggle versus the app. Yeah. The uh, app Monkey Man minutes, has Lego so. unblocked you. Nope. <laughs> Of course they I mean, can't. I won't even know until they do another live stream and I comment and say to someone else, can you see my comments? Will I? So, uh, Mihan is back. 
Meow. Back again. I need to take this off. It's, yeah, it, I, it's a set I recommend to everyone. Anyone who'd listen. Um, and I went to go and pick that up on the day before it retired and they ran out of stock. So I had to go to Smith's, but luckily I got it still. Yeah, you managed £10 to pounds cheaper. Yeah, I did click and collect. Yeah, they do like an offer saying that like if you bought it, you could um, get a discount, didn't you? What about Assembly Square? I, people go on about that. And I, I like it, but the there's like nothing in the interior. I just, yeah, I feel like it's overrated. A bit like the Parisian restaurant. The Parisian restaurant, I just don't like at all. The open back, it's... You have a modular building with an open back? No, thank you. Uh, oh, did you ever um... actually cut the craggle? Well, there's more than one way to cut something. Oh, the Pringles man said, I meant what you said for the parents of UCS Grogu. So I think he means obvious parent when I said... Uh, Kill with the frog and gizmo from Gremlins. Oh, okay. I see. I get you. Uh, let's see. Best minifig of 2021 so far. Craggle. Which one? The uh, the the craggle with crabs. Yeah, because he's he's your pet crab and he's cute. Instead of Wilson, you have a crab. Wilson. Wilson. They should have given him a uh, a football with a bloody handprint on there with a smiley face. He's back. So you built that one. Wow, just over two hours. This one's more. So what are your thoughts on this set? I love it. I, I got towed finally. I really like that lilac purple colour. It's nice, isn't it? That's a gorgeous colour. I said before, but the colours are fantastic in this uh, in this theme. You get towed. My first toad. He's a lot taller than the actual games. You ever played Mario games and just love jumping on Toad's head? There you see the lights. <laughs> so you've done two sets then do you want to call it there or do you want to try and get that third one done I mean, it's a I would ask one. the chat but I think like the chat is pretty much dead at this point all those Star Wars quotes killed it <laughs> um, so I don't know how are you feeling I'm getting hungry now but do you want to keep on going and try and do the last set yeah, let's get this now set yeah. thrown out. I'm going to put that box safely somewhere. Oh, Chris permits. Oh, jeez, I was way behind. Sorry. <laughs> no apologize. Um, um, I've done that before. When I've clicked on the stream that's already started, and I've been thinking that I'm like, you know, watching it as it's unfolding, but for some reason, it's like YouTube has put me like 20 minutes behind. Not at the start of the stream, but like, you know, not uh, as what's currently happening. How many times have we had like the stream on the t like one of the guys streams on the TV? Oh like, my oh, god, oh. Mihan has said continue. He always tells me to finish the stream. Like I <laughs> I I'll start like within two minutes, he's like finish the stream. Finish him. Life hacks lol says enjoy your sewer water on KFC. Oh, we shall. Wait, is Life Hacks the guy that was Iron Blaster? Did he get, actually get blocked? <laughs> Did he come back with an alternate account? Ow. I, don't know. I, <laughs> I was only joking blocked. when I said block him. Did someone actually block him? I don't know. I know. These mods. I know. He's I'm not, not very modding, nice. So I can't be nice. Oops. Remember that time when um, Beef Up accidentally blocked Nightcom? Oh, yeah. Nightcom used to come to every single live stream I did. Live, uh, Nightcom was you know, a very supportive viewer, was always polite, always asked good questions, always gave interesting comments. And came to every single one of my live streams. And then BFAB got modded and blocked him. And he didn't even mean to. Apparently pressed the wrong button because he has fat fingers and he was on his phone. And then I had to go through all the thing then to try and find Nightcam in the block list to unblock him. I know. I did boss you. And ever happen. since then, I feel like Nightcam has just not trusted me again. Thanks to BFAB. Well, I apologize. Yeah. So we're on to the third set. What set is this one now? This is Desert Pokey. You put it in the poster box. Uh, and why is it my fault? Desert the... Pokey. This I got for Christmas off you. So I paid, I bought the expansion myself. This was obviously, I managed to get a good friend to get me this set from San Diego. And then this one. So yeah, it's still I don't think Iron Blaster was actually blocked. I feel like uh, he was just timed out, maybe. Like we it. have a Shy Time is My Time! Shy! Hello! Yay! Shy's here! These mods, they get too much power. 
How good Shy is that? has the best legs in the Lego YouTube community. <laughs> Fact. Make Fight me if you disagree. <laughs> no, he does have good legs. He does. Uh, Mahan says, I just don't want to hear Krakow call <laughs> Nihan and tell me to shut up. Oh, <laughs> poor Nihan. You know Greg said keep calling you His Nihan. feelings are hurt now. <laughs> I was the only one who said Mahan correctly. Because I remember people going, Mayhan? Mayhan? Uh, and stuff like that. They were saying it differently. Mayhan? That's right. And now I was like, you Mahan. Call you Mahan. <laughs> Mahan. <laughs> oh, what was this now? I missed something. Is that an otter? An otter? Oh, that's Monty Moore. Or Monty something, Moore. Something. No. Yeah, I've already got him because he was in the expansion set when you pre ordered Mario. You can't see my face in this. I don't know what that person was on about. No. Probably see my face if I. Oh, I like these pieces. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, when you started. Hey, it's Black Series Supreme Leader Kylo Sam. Nice. I didn't know that guy. He's news in the Chris stream. Uh, uh, not straight. What is the best Lego Mario set? Uh, best Lego Mar Yoshi's house. Well, it's Mario's house and Yoshi, but. Well, that one with the hammock. Yeah, just because you get this little guy. Now, anyone who remembers Super Mario Bros. the movie, do you remember how they did Yoshi in that movie? Oh. It was terrible. <laughs> so you kind of want to forget. Bonjour from Prince Grisam Tendence. Bonjour. Uh, Black Series Supreme Leader Kylo Sam says, Do you like Doctor Who? Sorry. <laughs> uh, does that answer your question? <laughs> we do. We have yes. watched the latest. In fact, if you like Doctor Who and you like Lego, then you should, after this stream, check out my Lego Doctor Who custom minifigs video because I did a video of some custom minifigs of the first nine Doctors. First nine official Doctors. Because it is a bit complicated. There's been, there's there's been, been so many different money. Doctors. You know, there have been the peer cushion ones, there have been unofficial ones, there have been the war Doctor. Um, but yeah. But to quote David Tennant's doctor, wibbly wobbly timey wimey. Wibbly wobbly timey wimey. Yeah, we did uh, the F means, I don't know what F means. People put F in the chat, I think, to show their I respect think it's like when someone follow dies. Or something like that. Does it mean follow? I, I, follow. Think it's follow. I follow. But don't they put it when someone dies or like. I don't know. I think, I think it's more like a respect thing. Uh, but it's like when you see a post on Facebook saying following and they just type F. I'm like, well, you can just follow the post, get notifications from the post, and they do it all the time. Um, have I watched the new Doctor Who? Um, <laughs> um, no. Uh, no. Well, I actually, I know what happens in the latest episode. Because I watched a review video which had clips of it in there. And it sound, it seemed dreadful. And I did watch the actual scene I think they put up on the internet, BBC, of Captain Jack when he uh, is in prison with the Doctor. Um, like, I didn't consciously decide to stop watching when Capaldi left, but it coincided with us moving into our own place. And because I don't really watch, like, terrestrial TV, like live TV, we didn't bother getting a TV aerial. So all our, like, TV content comes from Netflix, Disney+, Plus, um, Blu-rays, Blu YouTube, DVDs, uh, occasionally Amazon Prime, we get the free trial. Now TV as well, because I did Now TV, yeah. Watch, um, so we don't... We never got around to watching Doctor Who. I know you can watch it on iPlayer, but I've never installed the iPlayer like app. Um, but I did watch. Was it? Is it Resident? Was it Resolution? What was the new? Oh, it might have been. It was a New Year special. No, um, Spyfall. I watched Spyfall and I thought it was dreadful. Oh yeah, it was last year's one, wasn't it? it was, well, you before now, but yeah, yeah. 2020. It was year, so but... so bad. Like I don't have anything against the actress Joe Whitaker, but. Like the writing of the new Doctor Who it seems so bad. Chipner. Like I know the whole thing of the timeless child, and it's just like really. I know Jodie's leaving this year, oh, but to be honest with you, I, I feel like unless you're gonna get a new showrunner, <laughs> yeah, Chip needs to go with her. No yeah. offense, like she's a good actress. Is she a good actress? I haven't seen. I can't comment either way because I haven't seen anything in there. But the one thing I will say when I watched the Spy Four is that. You never got the impression that she was a doctor. And I don't mean because she was female, because she was just so reactive. And even then, like, she didn't do anything. Like, apart from people calling her the doctor, 
there was nothing that made her the Doctor. Like, I know everyone has different characters, but the Doctor has to be the hero. That has to be the one that does something. Who saves it? And in this one, it was just oh, it was pants. Ooh. Yeah, so I wasn't a fan. Twelve piece and lilac. I like that piece. There you go. There's a pokey. Uh, Pringles Man says that was an awesome video crackle. Oh, thank you. Uh, I think he means the Doctor Who one. Uh, Frankie Toot says our cat is watching a live stream. Mihan <laughs> oh. says, Crackle, how would you feel if I said that you said my name wrong? Do I, what? Did I say Mahan wrong? You told me that Mahan was correct, so I don't know. Is it because you Larry Only me? Eleven says, I think Pia Capaldi was terrible. Oh, I love what? Capaldi. Oh my god, Peter Capaldi was fantastic. I will say that he probably I haven't well I've seen part of Joe Whipper's first episode. I need to watch I do need to watch all of it and make a proper decision. But out of the new who, his first episode is probably the weakest. Like Deep Breath was a really weak opener. In fact, Peter Capaldi kind of had the opposite run to Matt Smith. Matt Smith, I feel like his first season was his best. And each one got progressively weaker until he left. There were still like you know highlights throughout his run, but you know in terms of overall seasons, um, his be- his season five was by far the- his best one, and then it just you know went downhill from there. Whereas Capaldi felt like it got better each season with him until he left. Yeah. Would you agree or? Yeah, I'd agree. Who's your favourite um, of the New Who Doctors? New Who Doctors? Yeah, so from Eccleston onwards. David Tennant. David Tennant? Yeah, I'd say I David did Tennant. have a major swoon moment when we met him. Yeah. I liked it when I said David Tennant. Like I said, like um, I said I'm a massive fan of yours. You know, I loved you in Doctor Who, obviously, but I pretty much love you in anything <laughs> you do. I, like, you know, I was told like the stuff. Like, I didn't say love you. I said, like, you know, I'm a big fan of this. I can't remember what I actually oh, said. We were talking now. about, me and Dave were talking about when he got announced as Kilgrave for Jessica Jones. And I said, some of my fa- uh, my friends were saying that they couldn't see David Tennant as this really evil bad guy who you know, knew the character from the comics. And I said, I can because I'd seen him in this ITV drama where he was basically a psychopath called Secret Smile. And David Tennant looked at me and went, Secret Smile? He went, that was a long time ago. Like, you surprised I knew it. I was like, yep, I'm a real fan. <laughs> and he finally laughed at that, didn't he? He was yeah. like, yeah, I'm a true fan. The first time I saw him in was Casanova. Yeah, Casanova. Actually, going back, I remember seeing him, but I didn't click that. It was him until afterwards. In the Randon Hopkirk one. Oh, Randall Hopkirk, the cease. Yeah. <laughs> good series. It was a good series. Bob Mortimer and... Oh, Christopher Mitch says, thanks, Craig. Oh, I need to order those Doc Too Many Figs. Yes, you do. And remember to use my discount code as well. Um, Which one is it? On that one, I think it's 2020 Craggle 10. Gets you 10% off from minifigs.me. Although it's changing in the next show? It's changing soon, but I'll, I'll mention that in the next video. Inside knowledge. Uh, inside knowledge. Spoilers! Spoilers! Black Series Supreme Leader Kylo Sam says, Do you like the Cybermen or the Daleks? And by <laughs> I'm not gonna stay around to hear the answer. Um Cybermen. Which one? I mean, I like them both. I just love the music like in Capaldi series when you actually see the Cybermen, that music with the Cybermen. Yeah. Well, no, it's actually from Capaldi. It's from Tenant when we first see the Cybermen. No, the music for the one you're thinking of came in with Capaldi oh, when, it is when, she, when they come back with Missy, yeah. I know, the, I know the music you can think about because they used in the dimensions. dimensions yeah. yeah, I love that music. Yeah. Um, and we have a Dark in the Army. I'd say the Daleks are more iconic. I do like the new they're look. Both, the they're both up there, but if you said, like, which is number one, which is number two, I'd say Daleks and then Cybermen. Although the Cyberman minifigure from Lego Dimensions is so adorable. It I is. have, like, what, you 20 of them, now? of them I can find them. I had one, one, and I bought another, and then they went on offer in Smith's, like, for 3 9 and each one came with a Bilbo Dalek, and the Lego Dimensions Bilbo Dalek is leaps and bounds better than the one from Lego Ideas. I just remember having them on, in front of our TV for ages. Oh, Benjamin Stock says, Mr. and Mrs. Crackle has nice singing. Is that singing? I think we were doing the Doctor Who theme. Uh-huh. I have a terrible voice now. Uh, so a quick look. Something going on in the chat. Someone's just said. Uh, 
Yeah, nothing homophobic in the chat, please. We have no tolerance for homophobia here. What's that? I've got rid of it now. Oh. Would you buy a Lego emo Peter Parker from Spider Man 3? <laughs> oh. I just remember the scene. Spider Man 3 was such a letdown. I have glitter all over the side. I love, I love the, 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 the Spider Man 1 and 2. Spider Man 2 is one of my favorite superhero movies. Didn't have Hero from. Uh... That was Spider Man 3. Oh, Spider Man 3. Okay. Yeah. Or was it the guy of Nickelback? It was it was it was Nickelback. I I thought it was him solo. Chad Kroger? Something like that. Oh god. I used to like Nickelback. Uh Christmas agrees with you, says that uh, she is a good actress, the writing has been mayor. It's Chibnall. Let's get rid of him. But she's uh, I think the rumor is she's sticking to the traditional way of the doctors seem like they're gonna go for like three. Yeah, I don't I don't stuff. like that. Three series and then gone. It only really started, I think. No, tell a lie. One and two, I think, did three seasons. I think third Doctor did four. Tom Baker did like seven years, something like that. Oh, Tom Baker's the awesome. problem I have, though, when you do like, you know, a Doctor only has three series, you have the first series is all about getting used to them. And if they have new companions, getting used to new companions. The second one, then, generally, we have a change in companions. So it's all about, you know, what the new companion or the last companion leaving. And then the third one, then, is all about, like, I'm going to die soon, you know? And it's, uh, that's been happening since New Who started. I mean, even if you look at David Tennant, like the first season was about him um, getting used to him, but also the fact we knew Rose was leaving, didn't we, you know? Mm. The second the second series, which was obviously you know, the oh, third series then, now. was all about Martha, who went down like a ton of bricks, didn't she? And then the last series then was kind of all about him dying soon. Although Don was in it, you know, the specials, but and then with Matt Smith, we had the same thing where the first series was about getting used to him and the Ponds. And then his second series was about the Ponds leaving and the introduction of Clara. And then the third series was all about him dying. Kapowie, first series about getting used to him. Second series then about Clara leaving. And then the third series then about him dying. It's just like, come on. It's getting a bit... You know. Anyway. Uh, Pringles Man <laughs> says, Doctor Who is on Netflix, I think. It's been taken down now. On the UK one, because he's going over to BritBox. Yeah, BritBox. They're, they're trying to really push this British streaming service, BritBox at UK. Um, we got yeah. the series. We were watching Blu-ray. it on Netflix, weren't we? Even though I've got them all on DVD and Blu-ray, all of New Who, up until Capaldi. Have I, no, I haven't. Have I got Twice Upon I a Time? I don't know if you got the, the last one. I'll have I to check. Uh, have you seen The Office? I've seen the UK Office, and I've seen bits of the American Office. Uh, Black Series Supreme Leader Kylo Sam, who is your favourite Doctor? Don't answer that. Maybe he doesn't hear well, I asked you what is your favourite Doctor of New Who, off my own back. New Who, oh, okay. So, favourite Doctor all time, I guess. Tom Baker. Tom Baker? Fourth Tom doctor? Baker. Fair yeah, enough. Tom Baker. I I'd really probably say David Tennant. David Tennant, the new Doctor. Uh, but it's, I, it's tough because there's so many I love. Like I love Pierre Capaldi's speech that he gives about um, about war with mm-hmm. the Saigon invasion one. I did love Matt Smith's speech in the one with the Weeping Angels uh, with Ian Glenn, which I finally met after like years of him. <laughs> that was hunting. fantastic. Yeah. The first. The, I feel like. Almost all of the doctors have had a moment where they've really shined, mm. um, with a couple of exceptions. Uh, what's your favorite doctor, Black Series Supreme Leader Kylo Sam? Is it bad that I rewatched the Raimi trilogy and I thought Spider Man 2002 was the weakest, with Spider Man 3 in the middle and Spider Man 2 is the best? Wow, I mean, I don't think it's bad because it's your opinion and you're entitled to your opinion. Yeah, you I'm glad that you, just, you didn't say Spider Man 3 was the best. Um, and I definitely agree, Spider Man 2 to me is superb. But I'm surprised that you found Spider Man 1 the weakest. Well, what, why is that? What was it you found uh, that was Ooh, weak about that film? I'm not doing that. Uh, Mark B says, Any films you're looking forward to this year? Um, whoa. Um, the Suicide Squad. Oh, yeah. That's going to be awesome. James Gunner. I mean, I look forward to Black Widow because. My hype goes up and down on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I took him off his thing now. Oh, 
Another cheeky video plug. If you haven't already, watch my Lego Stranger Things How Did Hopper Survive? A fantastic thing. Uh, that one. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be a weird year because I can't see us getting back to this, you know, complete normalcy mm. in time for like the summer blockbusters or, you know, no. going to the cinema anyway. And I don't, even if they, they are open, I don't know if I'd feel comfortable going to them straight away. Like, I remember when the cinemas reopened briefly in between the lockdowns last year and your sister went to the cinema and they said, like, the rules were that there was going to be distancing between the seats and you had to wear your mask for the entire film apart from when you took it down just to have some popcorn or, popcorn or a drink. And she said, like, the photographs they showed of, like, example was going to have, like, a seat, then four seats removed, and then another seat. Ooh. That piece. That's cool. Sorry. Yeah, carry on. <laughs> and when she went in, none of the seats were actually removed. It just had like stickers on them, something saying "Don't sit here" or "Leave empty." Yeah. People and people, were... people were ignoring. They were sitting like next to each other. Someone sat like one seat away from her, even if it was like leave a gap of four seats. I... And she said she looked round and like people, as soon as like the lights went down, were just taking their masks off and leaving them off. And because it was a comedy, people were laughing, and of course, like laughing is just as bad as coughing in terms of like spit on stuff got off into the air i was just like oh no all i could think of was that scene from outbreak oh, you know <laughs> with dustin good hoffman film if you need to watch a film about viruses yeah. watch outbreak classic from the, was it from the early late now late 90s or was it early noughties my first uh brix is looking forward to any mcu film i think uh i am blast 98 degrees spider-man 3 is honestly underrated Mihan is saying I say any pronunciation is correct. I don't care how you say my name. Uh -oh. I feel like he's just saying that, so I'll stop saying Mihan. I just need to get out of that one. Sorry. Okay, Mahone. <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Pringles man says Pierre Capaldi is the best actor to ever play the Doctor. I heard he's a he's superb fantastic. actor, and he's really lovely in real life as well. When you meet him, yeah, we met him, didn't we? We met. Just... Just... Was it Matt Smith, David Tennant, and Peter Capaldi at the same convention? Yeah, they did a convention where pretty much they had every single living doctor there at some point, didn't they? Yeah, we haven't met we... um, Chris Ferguson, but I think... Well, I've met him because I worked with him on yeah, the... you worked I worked with him. with him on his season Doctor Who. But we passing. saw him. Well, I saw him from distance. Yeah. I... And also, he was behind... You know, he was walking towards me and Matt Smith was behind me? Or was it the other way around? It might be the other way around. Yeah, and they shook hands and anything, but... They did like each other as well, didn't they? Quite sweet. Yeah, uh, Andy, you says, when is the next vlog video? Or you can't since because of lockdown. Well, I do them monthly, um, unless there's a special event, like you know, going to a convention or something, which it hasn't been. Uh, I did the December one a little bit early because normally I do like the previous month at the start of the current month, but I did that because I wanted it to go out on Christmas Day, and there wasn't a lot in that one, to be honest with you. It kind of jumped it's from like the first of December that. to <laughs> Christmas Eve because. Couldn't go anywhere. And actually uh, on Christmas Day, as he was opening up the parcel, because he knew exactly what it was. Yeah. Because <laughs> he saw me wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, there is going to be... I, I have filmed some stuff for January's vlog. One thing I'm thinking is that the vlogs don't seem to be that popular on the main channel anyway. So I am uh, planning on launching my Patreon later this year. Um. You know, in the well, I say this for this year within the next couple of months, mm. so fairly soon. And I think the vlogs may go over as a, uh, a basically a benefit for my patreons because I feel like people who um, want to support me via Patreon are probably the people who are more interested in seeing what I'm getting up to, you know, throughout the month. Whereas a casual viewer be like, I don't care like what shops he going to or what, what food he's having or what's he doing. Um, just give me Lego reviews and stuff. So yeah. So the vlogs are probably going to move to Patreon only in the future. Um, the monthly vlogs, you know, I think if there's like if we ever do go to a convention or a Lego launch again, that might be like a, a timed thing where I come on Patreon to begin with and then later on put them out because they seem to do quite well. Um, people seem to like those, but monthly vlogs, I feel like it's only my diehard fans that want to see that. You agree? I agree. I agree. And I, I may care. make a little appearances in the videos on thing, you know. Well, Christmas Mitt says David Tennant. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, did I cry when David Tennant? Oh, David... I didn't cry. I don't want to go. You you cried, didn't you? Oh, it's such a hot, like, tearful scene. I don't want to go and just regenerate. Yeah. I remember my mum watched it 
I had already seen it, I think. I don't know, did I watch it? No, I think she was there when we watched it together, wasn't there? Mm. We and you weren't together. You were actually at your family's. I was at mine and we were talking on... Was it Emerson? It back was then? Emerson. Back then, oh yeah, God. watching the end of Time Part 2. And my, when he says, I don't want to go, my mum was like, well, why are you leaving then? Because she was so angry. <laughs> she didn't want him to leave. She was she so angry about him That's leaving nice. Doctor Who. She was like, why can't he stay on for another series? <laughs> Okay, so I'm just putting that piece there. That's yeah. brilliant instructions. You're very welcome, Pringles Man. Um, Christmas says, I also love the Big Finish audios. Yeah, because... Um, oh, we got some people in the spam. Spam? Who's spamming? I'm guessing can... we haven't got any mods at the moment. Who's spamming where? Oh, no, we have. Shy. So, Shy's taking care of it. Shy, my man, is taking care of it. Uh, I'm behind on the chat, I'm sorry. We were talking about Doctor Who too much. <laughs> uh, yeah, the big finish audios. Chris Baxton is actually coming back as the ninth Doctor to do some of those. Yes. So I, I do need to read the... Um, I got you some Doctor Who books, didn't I? Yeah, the Time of Victorious. I need to read them. Wow. I got many books to read, though. Smiths were one seven dimensions packs for £1 each. I don't think they were £1 when I got them. I think they were... Were they 3 or No, they were a bit cheaper. They were £1.99, weren't they? They were £1.99. £1.99. Yeah. At one point, though, I remember people were saying they were popping up in Poundland and uh, uh, Pound World, you know, the pound, one pound stores. Oh, yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> yeah, uh, Craig was about 20 minutes behind on chat. I am so sorry. I know he's not even building. <laughs> How much you pay for Photoshop? Just if I can do something. Um, I can't remember. Sorry. <laughs> He is actually eight minutes behind, so <laughs> it's time me. Okay. Uh, film was looking forward to in 2021. I think we answered that. Uh, Space Time Brick Studio. I need to catch up on who. I haven't seen it since Capaldi left. Yeah, I've only seen bits and I've not liked the bits I've seen. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you having fun? It's your stream. Yeah. Show you what they are. Mm. You want to? Do you want to move it back a little bit so we can try and... I don't know. Yeah, let me sh see if I can show you. Uh. <laughs> Just drop him off. I Let me put my thumb in the way. I'm going to go behind the chat again now. Uh. Ready? Are these little grooves. Yeah. Pop them in there. Okay. Pop them in there. Pop them in there. And then... Boop. 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 Wow. He goes flying. And then um, Monty Moore starts the I mean, I think with Photoshop, you can download, I think, Photoshop Elements for free. It's like a trial version. But, but you, you don't, don't have, get much, you don't do have you? all the You don't have all the features on it. What is your favourite Fortnite skin? Master Chief. <laughs> there you go. Second is going to be Daryl. Yeah, Chief all the way. Spider-Man 1 and 2 are, are two of the best movies ever made. Hmm? I really, really like them. Why do you put these guys in? Uh... I get the second point here. Spider-Man seems really dated. I mean, I the thing with any film is that I get frustrated when people say, oh, that's old now. It's like you kind of have to appreciate it from the time it came out. And Spider-Man was pre-MCU. It was you know, at a time when superhero movies were only really starting to come back after like Batman Forever and Batman and Robin. And even up to this point, there hadn't really been any big successful Marvel movies. Uh I, th I think X Men came out before Spider Man. You know, Fox's X Men in two thousand. So I think that was been a success, but that was kind of a bit darker than what Spider Man was. Really, DC had been owning it for decades. Mar uh, Blade had been out, but that was more for an adult audience. So it was a game changer, the first Spider Man movie, and the story has been done to death. But it's been done to death since. So when it came out, it was quite fresh. You know, we hadn't had. The Spider-Man origin story at that point. Paraguma, come here. Uh, Benjamin Stock, I am your biggest fan. I love your Red Guardian figure. Otherwise, it's what not. Mean, it's figure? not my figure, isn't that? I made it. It's just a. Uh, oh, I come up with sets. Closer to me. There you go. Oh my god! Wow. Ooh, wow. no. Bad <laughs> You're all the biggest man. <laughs> Don't block someone. <laughs> uh, yeah. I just watched Spider Man to Spider Verse. I love Spider Ham, oh. aka Peter Porker. Peter Porker is so funny. Yeah. Into the Spider Verse is fantastic. I said it was the best Spider Man film since Spider Man 2, in my opinion. <laughs> Spider Verse is a masterpiece. Agreed. Spider Verse is my favorite animated movie. Mm -hmm. 
It is really, really good. It's really good. I mean, it's yeah, X Men came out in two thousand. Uh, Benjamin Stock. I like the nineteen sixties Batman film. I got the DVD for twenty p at Skegness Car Boot. Oh, Skegness, not been there in years. Yeah, I mean the nineteen sixties Batman. I think people. I mean, I remember when I was like a moody teenager. I was like, sixties Batman is terrible. You want to go for the like the dark, brooding Batman. I I, I have room in my heart for all kinds it's of Batman. Nice, be honest though. with you. And I I really like the Anna West Batman, and it was a big part of making Batman like mainstream like before that batman was just a comic really he had the black and white serials which have even less to do with the comic and one of them he's a cia secret agent codenamed the batman it's really weird in the black and white serials they did but i also i don't know if you've seen them they did two animated movies which were sequels to the 60s batman show they planned on doing a third but sadly adam west passed away um, and there was, I think, very short discussions about whether they could, should use a sound alike, but they quickly said, no, we're not mm -hmm. going to. William which, Shatner's in the second one. William Shatner's in the second one. He plays Two-Face. Yeah, because what well, they did in the second one is they brought Two-Face into it, who was a character who never appeared in the 60s show. So they imagined what he would be like. And they had him be played by William Shatner, who played Kirk in Star Trek. Um, it would have been nice to have gotten the third one because they do set it up. And it feels like this. the first one you can take as a standalone film, and the second one is a standalone story, but it feels like the middle installment in the trilogy, you know? But I feel like it was the right decision not to go ahead when Adam West passed away. Yeah, definitely. My world got bigger. The Pringles man, he caught up with the chat. He did. I'm doing my best. <laughs> my world. Way. So, what has been your favorite one of these sets so far then? Ooh, let me have a look at my list, shall we? Because I have it. Of, of these three sets I meant, they've built. Like, what have you enjoyed building the most? This one. This one. So the San Diego Comic Con exclusive. exclusive. What's yeah. it called? <laughs> There's a box. It's called Toad Special Hideaway. Just because you get toad, look at it. Oh, I'm not on camera right now. <laughs> you get toad, look at him. He's cute. That is pretty cute. No, he doesn't need like uh, one of the things on his head so he can basically knock him like a goomba. Wait, he's an ally, isn't he? You don't, you don't attack yeah, him. Yeah, but there's this thing running gag in like Mario where you just jump on him and you bounce off his head. Well, that's like, he's picking that up as fire right now, isn't he? Like when you put on my red t shirt. Yeah, like my blue one. I do it. He's quite. He just yeah. picked up colors quite quickly. But yeah, I love Little Toad. He's very, he's cute. I do. I, I will admit that. <laughs> I do collect a mini for the little figures though, because they're so cute. They're a bit of a do you think that these characters work better as Bilbo figures, or would you want to see mini figs of them now? I would love to see mini figs of them. Like Mario in a mini fig form would be quite cool. But I do love. I like that. I'll let him snooze. Um, oh no, he's gonna start snoring again. Oh, his eyes are reflective. That's even worse than when they're dead. Okay, let me put him down there. <sighs> he's not gonna do it. Get the snoring, but it's not working. Fail. Mario, fall asleep. Wait with bated breath. <laughs> Isn't he just the rudest? That's terrible. <laughs> Thank you very much, Benjamin Stark. I appreciate that. Um, part, I missed something here, but I did see someone saying about what we think of Soul, the Pixar Soul film. Oh, we need to watch that. We haven't watched it yet. No, we haven't watched it yet. No. And here's one. When will Peach come in the Mario line? Hopefully never. I hate Peach. <laughs> the Peach Peach is always in another what bloody castle. What part of the UK do you live in? I live in Wales. 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 I live in Wales. In well, we live in Wales. Well, Crackle does. He lives in Wales, he does. Yes, he does. He lives in Cayadiv. In Cayadiv. Cayadiv. If you know what that is. Cayadiv. Okay, let me quit out the app. So we're going to start wrapping stuff up now. I would say that um, I built the sets. You built the sets. Do you want to do a quick fire round if you've got any more questions in the chat? Yeah. 
that is triggering me how much empty space you have here on the screen and all this clutter up here. Sorry. <laughs> Welsh boy. Uh, I think Soul was good, but it definitely wasn't my favorite Pixar movie. So, yes, if you've got any uh, quick fire questions that we can answer very quickly, let us know. We'll do that now for the next, I would say, 10 minutes to take up to 2 hours 45. And then we're going to say goodbye. Uh, so, okay, ready? Let's go. Marpy says, Mrs. Crackle's favorite Marvel film. Ooh, favorite Marvel film. I do actually love Wolverine. You know the one where um, Wolverine goes to Japan? Oh, the Wolverine. The Wolverine, yeah. That's I, your favorite Marvel film? Recent ones. Otherwise, we, oh, actually, Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1. You can never have a quick fire round when you're talking to a woman, you know that. <laughs> anyway. I, I changed my mind, but yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1. I donated £50 pounds to you. I, Did you? I, I didn't see that. Um, Go to YouTube. Uh, Did you share the donations? Yeah, I feel like that's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's not come through, I'm afraid. <laughs> Best Disney movie. Beauty and the Beast. Oh, do you want to slower? That was too quick. Beauty and the Beast. The My Beauty and the Beast. Dis oh, you mean live action or? No, I animated? think that's fine. Favorite Pixar film. Up. Up. Oh, oh. Wally. <gasps> Wally. Ooh, that's a Up. Most heartbreaking ten minutes of a film. Best Star Wars movie. Return of the Jedi. Return of the Jedi. She said it too fast now, isn't she? <laughs> Worst Star Wars movie. Oh, is it? Worst Star Wars movie. Last Jedi. Last Jedi. Why do you call me Meehan? Because <laughs> Craggle can't pronounce your name. I'm sorry, Mahone. <laughs> uh, Craggle Beard Reveal. Maybe on OnlyFans. <laughs> Are you on a beard reveal? Yeah, we kind of already established that. They've, uh, they've got my name There wrong. you go. Beard reveal. <laughs> That's not focusing. <laughs> uh, there you go. <laughs> uh, I think you know about Guardians of the Galaxy saying Volume 2 is better than Volume 1. Well, um, I guess Volume 2 does have Kurt Russell, but mm. yeah. I... What is your favourite Batman set? Oh, Batman set. Well, yours would be the Batman because you haven't built the Batwing yet. It's, I know. I, my, I got that day one. <laughs> I, ordered, I ordered it day one. And I still yeah. haven't got the Batwing yet. It's still in the parcel box um, under the stairs. I would say, yeah, even the H9 Batmobile is the one I own. I still really want that Arkham Asylum set they don't <laughs> to have uh, retired. Um, I can't remember what my favourite Batman set is. Uh, the best superhero movie from Marvel or DC. Ooh. That's a tough one. Because the problem is DC films always get slated because Marvel has been so better. Um, but I feel like Marvel is the same with the comics, and it always has been, and I can't see it changing, is that Marvel appeals to a broader audience, a more mainstream audience. Like One of my friends said that he loves both Marvel and DC, but he always thinks that DC is, well, maybe not at the moment because of the current uh, editors, but DC is more the sort of thinking man's superhero. Whereas Marvel is more about uh, fun and adventure, you know, so it's it's more marketable to the masses. Mm. But then stuff like Joker did really well, so there Joker is a, there really is a good. big audience out there for stuff like that, and the Dark Knight trilogy did well, so. Mm. So yeah, any any uh, <laughs> any uh, one best movie? You haven't answered the question yet. Best super movie, it's super there. movie. Um... Just say something. Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Just because it was quite on, like, true to the comics. These are mostly questions for Mrs. Craggle, not Craggle. Because Craggle can be mean. Uh, <laughs> I think this is a question. Best Batman film. Batman 89. Do you want to say that again? <laughs> <laughs> Batman 89. So the 1989 Batman, Batman movie. Okay. Uh, best reveal ever. <laughs> <laughs> best Spider-Man movie. Spider-Man mm. 2 for me. I think I'd say Spider-Man just because it's the original one. I thought you were going to say Into the Spider-Verse, which would be a, probably a Ooh. really close second. Actually, now that you include that one, yeah, Into the universe, into the Spider-Verse, just because Spider-Gwen. Uh -huh. 
Uh, fourth favourite style set. Fourth favourite style set. <laughs> wow. Um, Poe Dameron's X-Wing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Best sig fig. I was. Uh, who is your favourite Mario character? Yoshi. <laughs> I should get my Yoshi. Yoshi sign. Uh, best it? one of the Dark Knight trilogy. Dark Knight. The Dark Knight is like Heath Ledger's performance as a Joker. I will agree with this though. Uh, Iron Blast says Batman is somehow probably the most mainstream characters. Yeah, because if you used to, I, it changed when the MCU came out, but it's gone back. They used to say like if you said to people, "What are the two biggest? Oh, you know, what are the three biggest superheroes?" It was always Batman, Superman, and Spider Man. During the MCU, it changed to Batman, Superman, and Iron Man. But apparently, when they've done the recent survey, since that Iron Man has not been you know, in the limelight with the films anymore, it's gone back to Batman, Superman, Spider-Man again. So, yeah. He's my favourite Nintendo character. Oh, I forgot about that. I got you that. He's my Yoshi. Yeah, blue Yoshi. I'm just knocking everything over. You're just over. destroying the Lego. Okay, let's move him... Let's uh, best Spider-Man film is Far From Home, personally. Fair enough. Would you support Lego Star Trek? That'd be interesting. I've been watching... I haven't seen the last episode yet, but Star Trek and Discovery. In Star Trek <laughs> Discovery, I'm getting mixed up again. Star what Trek is Discovery this now? Was really good. Oh, there my go. God. He's just this is the messiest setup ever. <laughs> I think you would. I'm not really into Star Trek. I mean, I... I watched the reruns of the classic series when I was a kid. We my... were watching them on Netflix, weren't we? Yeah, so... and I've what I my Star Trek knowledge really is only on the films. So I watched a bit of Enterprise because it should be on before Smallville. <laughs> um, <but> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I do. I think you've been quite into it. What if they did Lego Grinch sets for Christmas? That would be great. I would buy it for him. Buy it for who? I don't know. Best Lego set ever. Ooh. Question mark. I don't know where that's supposed to go. Uh, best Lego set ever. Um, Hurry up. We've got um, a few more minutes. Um, do -do 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 -do. I see my episode. Is it episode nine, Falcon? Yeah, Millennium Falcon. Yeah, it's episode nine, sadly, but it's. I don't know if they mean ones Falcon. that you ones you own or just in general. Would you say the UCS Falcon now? Yes. I need okay. that. I need that set. Uh, opinions on the news about Tom Holland Spider Man Three. About you? Are, do you mean about Tom Holland appearing in the new Spider Man? Then yeah, it sounds cool. Uh, best sick figure out the two. Me. <laughs> Who is your favorite Spider Verse character? Spider Gwen. Do you like emo Peter from Spider Man Three? <laughs> no. No. Who does Mrs. Crackle watch on YouTube? I watch the general guys. So like, obviously, I watch Crangle's videos. You do you so, watch my videos? <laughs> I do watch your videos. <laughs> Greg's, Greg from Brick Attacks. I watch Brick Attack and Greg's World. Shy's videos. Um, Beef Up 20 Katie does them. I think Rogue as well. And Chris is from Brick and Um, Who else am I missing? Laura Legends. Oh, yeah. Laura Legends. She's hilarious. Star Wars Theory. Yep. Star Wars Theory. He's pretty cool. Um, yeah. You've got, we got into watching that guy who's with, is it Jay from Drunk C3PO? You've watched a couple of stuff recently, yeah. Yeah, I've been watching him as well. Uh, ten favourite Batman set? The Joker Balloon Escape. <laughs> I'm just literally bringing up ones I've seen, uh, built. Do you call him Grogu or Baby Yoda? Both, I think. Both. He's certainly, he's, I'd say the child is the least common name. It's either Baby Yoda or Grogu. Yeah. Even though he was branded as a child. Yeah, he's. I think Lego should actually update the plaque. It's called him Grogu. Best Mario game. Best Mario game. Well, you got me 3D All Stars for Christmas. So I've been playing that. That's like three games in one. Three games in one, but. Mario Sunshine, which I've. Going in order, so I've not got to Sunshine yet, but. That Bet. software, that, oh, it has to be my staple for Marshmallow Man that Craggle got me a few years back when he came out in Builder Bear. He's a limited edition. He smells like marshmallows but, and he sings the Ghostbusters theme, but the battery sadly died on it. I gotta fix it, haven't I? Yeah. They do it in such a way that you can't easily get to the batteries. Yeah. 
What's the dumb questions I can ask? Well, that's pretty dumb because you said A, but then you put questions plural. <laughs> Fail, Mahone. <laughs> uh, what movie are you looking forward to in 2021 the most? The Suicide Squad. I think you already answered that. What's your favourite Mario game? Yeah, it doesn't matter. What do you think of Mario 64? That's the one I've been playing at the moment. I can't believe how annoying those camera angles are and how I used to think they were the, the camera angles are so bad. Oh, it's like trying to play on the Switch is hard enough as it is, but try if I I can't even I remember playing it on then uh, the Nintendo 64 and it used to be so easy, but playing it on the Switch now I'm like just a slight nudge of the camera, noob, it goes the wrong I way. I used to think oh. the camera was bad, uh, bad on Sonic Adventure, but Mario 64 <laughs> is terrible. Oh, my God. A little nudge and you're looking the other way. It's horrible. Well, yeah. we've just gone over two hours, 45 minutes there, so we're going to be wrapping up now. Uh, well, we already wrapped up. We're going to say goodbye now. Um, I want to say myself thank you to everyone who came by and hung out with us and gave Mrs. Craggle such a warm welcome. Uh, thank you for all your questions and comments. And thank you so, so very much to everyone who donated. Space Time Brick Studio, um, BFAB. There was some other people I forgot. Frankie. Frankie donated. Frankie Williams uh, donated on there as well. There was also someone else who didn't leave a message and I've forgotten their name. Oh, I can't go that far back. It doesn't let me go that far back. I'm sorry. But thank you, every single one of you, for your donations. Um, it's much appreciated. And Thank you. You guys are all awesome. That's it? That's your big <laughs> outro? What is this, your first live stream? Oh, wait. Yeah. Don't yeah. forget to subscribe. Yeah. Yes, subscribe <laughs> if you haven't already. Smash that like button. Leave a comment, I guess. Go what watch Go watch my other videos, yeah. please. <laughs> and look out on Critical Stone because we will hopefully try and do the Funko game yeah, stream. Yeah, hopefully we're going to try and do it very soon, the Craggles Den uh, Funko vs. board game. That should, yeah. be, that should be fun. That should be fun. You might see us break up live on stream <laughs> <laughs> over a Funko oh, board game. Maybe we should do Ghostbusters Monopoly at one point. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that would be hilarious. But until next time, what's, what's my sign-off? Um, I don't know. What was your sign-off? Did you... I'll find you in the next missing. No, that's, no, that's Chris Greggs. Um, what a do big nice bit me, Fabs. Um, see you later. Bye. Bye.